All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Muckluck Streams. I'm your charming, self-proclaimed, yet still humble host, Muckluck, and we are diving back into Manor Lords. Uh, for those who haven't seen it, this is a game that is actually not out yet. It is coming out into like a beta in a few days, uh, and we got a key to try it out early. Uh, this game, uh, one, one really impressive part about it is it was made by one guy. Uh, over seven years. Muckluck hype, another month of excellent ad free muckluck, muckluck content, muckluck dancing. Hey, Nyron, thank you so much. We really appreciate that. Uh, this was made by one guy over seven, what was it, seven years? And it's not done yet. It's not done yet. But it is, uh, it's at this point that you see it. It's come a long way. All right, let's see. Where are my, my troops? They're, they're, they're right there. Okay. So they, where were they moving to? Okay, they're moving up this way. All right, uh, so let's see, currently it is November. All right, so it's about to be winter, okay. And let's see, we got two fields now. All right, let's see, we've got, do we have another point we can spend? We do have another point we can spend. We got, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this the wrong save file? Hold up, wait a minute. 1224, 1231, this one, this is the right one. Okay, we went back in time like eight minutes. I was like, what, 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 what? I was like, wait a minute, I had already spent that talent point. There we go, this was it. We were in the winter, that's right, that's right. Because we were hurting for firewood. It is February now. February. Okay. So we're back here now, and do I still have the mercs? No, I had retired them. However, I had gotten rid of every bandit camp I could see in the kingdom. Uh, let's see, we got let's see, the mining pit saw someone there. Clay furnace has no one working there. I don't know why, but we're gonna fix that right now. We're gonna put a we're gonna put a family working there at the furnace. All right, hunting camp is probably not going to have much to do right now. There is not many animals there. Uh, they should not be hunting anything right now. Tannery. I hope it's not possible because they're supposed to stop hunting when you get down to 10 animals, but there's only five animals. So I don't know if we got down to 10 and then the rest died or what? Why? Oh, I remember why I had no one at the clay furnace is because I was running out of firewood. Okay, never mind. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Yeah, we were really hurting for firewood. That's what it was. Um, let's see. Do all of these have upgrades already? Yeah, we you burn through firewood, keeping everyone alive much faster during the winter. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, let me see. How much? We have one timber. We have one timber? We have a guy at the logging camp. I guess it's just, uh... Taking him time. Alright, let's speed it back up. Game is gorgeous. I agree, dude. Look at this. You can look at this stuff from any camera angle, too. They made it, uh, full 3D, so you can... You can look at stuff from any direction you want. Alright, pretty sure... Yeah, we don't have any more points to spend. Next point, I need three Burgage plots, level three or higher. And we were trying to figure that out. All right, we, is the windmill still working? Yeah, all right, so the windmill is making lots of flour. Um, and how do we use the flour in this? Let's see, honey, we had just gotten the apiaries, right? Yeah, they're right there, okay. Flour, 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 flour. Who does that? Resource stolen by bandit. What? Brigands. You mother... Okay. All right. Hang on. Do we have money? We have money. I'm about to throw so much money at you. Uh, let's buy some mercenaries. Let's get the green caps. Wait. I can't. Wait. Insufficient? What? What do you mean insufficient? I have enough money. What are you talking about? What? I'm so confused. 
Amount of money owned by villagers from the region can be used for import or converted to treasury via tax policy. Converted to treasury. It's not already treasury? Can be converted to treasury. Okay. So I can't hire more mercs? Oh, no. That changes things a bit. Well. Huh. Gotta convert it to treasury. Alright, we're starting to leave winter. And then we're gonna need to get families back at the farm. Eichenhau being claimed. Uh, I can't do anything about that right now. It's nice seeing the food cart and firewood cart running. Okay, I remember one thing in the construction menu, administration. Uh, we might need this. We honestly just need like a lot of logs for that. I'll see that. Okay, we're in March now. So we need, let's put four families there at the farm. And speed it back up. And we need firewood to start piling up. Oh, we've got a lot of it, actually. Okay, we're totally fine. Alright, so we can get the clay furnace and the bloomery running again. Hey, Mr. Ben Gaming! Thank you for the raid! Really appreciate that. Welcome. Alright, Forester's Hut is running again. I have two families running in that. I don't know if I need two there, but we already did. Um, let's see. Burgish plant level two. Uh, how's food? Is our crazy amount of eggs still doing fine? It looks like it is. Alright, construction. Residential burgish plant. Not enough goods. Oh, uh, we still completely out of logs and stuff. Okay. Let's add another family to the logging camp for now. And the wild animal deposit has gone from five back up to nine, so that's good. I was afraid it was going to go extinct. I don't even know if that's really possible, but that's what I was afraid of. I wonder if I should relocate the logging camp. Hmm. Like, what if I do this, and then... Where's logging camp? I gotta find which category it's in. Gathering, logging camp. There we go. Let's try that. Let's relocate it and closer to the trees. And see if that helps. New mercenary companies available. Yeah, but I don't actually have anything in the treasury. Alright, let's look at this. What do we need? We need 36 shields. Alright, so let's go to the trading post. Trade. Weapons. Uh, large shields. Start a trade route. And we want to import until we have at least 30 large shields. All right, and that should help us arm the militia. You could move the trees closer to your logging site. <laughs> I can't believe I got to the end of that sentence. Hey, Noxy. Nox, I have answered so many YouTube comments today in the same way that you've answered a few tweets on Twitter about that stupid cosmetic inspection thing. Oh my god, dude. I'm like even more against the people that are against it now than I was at the start because they are becoming insufferable. How does this game feel? I've had it on my wish list for two years. Do you think it's worth the price for early access? 
Um, Demonic, in full disclosure, uh, as a as a streamer, I was able to get a key for free. I did not pay for it. So just letting you that know, you know, just in full disclosure. Uh, how does it feel right now? It feels good. Not perfect. Um, but like, for example, like, a, a lot of the stuff I find about it is really interesting. Like, if I'm making, like, a home, like, you, you drag a square, right? So, like, you do this, and... Uh, let me, if I do, let's say, too small, like, if I do that, that's a home that can do, like, one small expansion and fit two families. But if I do it like this, then you see there's a third symbol in there, that it's got now room for, like, a chicken coop, you know? So you can do a lot of, uh, odd stuff just by changing the shape. So that's three homes with one small expansion each. So you end up playing with the size of the plots a lot in this game, but I've never really seen anything quite like it. You know, there's some buildings that just, like, a logging camp has a specific size, and, and that's it, the end. But a lot of the other stuff, it is, uh, you, you end up, you know, playing with it a lot when you put it down to see if you can get it the, the right size that you want it. Am I showing a list of names? Uh, I'd like to grow my block list a little. <laughs> I don't know their in-game names. It was on, uh, YouTube. There's one guy just, like, we had, we had a few back and forth, and then it's like, I finally gave up. I just stopped responding. He, I, I felt like he was talking to me like I was a sinner and he was trying to get me to go to a church or something. <laughs> like, that was the tone he was using with me. And I was just like, oh my god. I expected better of you, Mukluk. You're usually very respectable, but right now you're not, you're not respecting the other person's beliefs. I'm like, because they're stupid. <laughs> You know, I'm like, I'm suddenly the bully on every, like, 1990s sitcom. Like, they, their, their belief is that we want to steal their outfit. That's dumb. That's a dumb belief. Alright, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it was, like, auto-saving and the camera, like, lurched really hard. Alright, so I think... Do I have some logs now? Yeah, we do. I still can't make a manor. Hmm. Okay, there's a feature here we gotta figure out. Alright, up here is our treasury. Your personal money collected from taxes can be used for diplomacy, hiring retinue and mercenaries, as well as settling a new region. Okay, so the regional wealth, which we use for trading, is not the same as this over here. Now this generates one regional wealth per family per month. How do we tax them? So there's visit mode? Wait, press to walk around your town in third person? Oh my god, I didn't know you could do this. What's up, pause? Hello, peasants. How are you doing? Mm. Oh, I can sprint, shift to sprint. Dude, this is crazy. It's this detailed up close? This is the chicken coops in the someone's backyard. <laughs> Inspect my holdings. Yes, where are my taxes? Oh, it's a something? Okay. Um, settings. Help. Treasury. Uh, no, that doesn't really answer anything new. Continue. Map, army, construction, roads. Pantry's full, burgage plot, work area is empty. Currently showing surplus goods, total goods stored. Hey, ship is poking around. Um, all right, so I'm having trouble figuring out how to get the treasury filled up so I can buy mercs again. I didn't realize I was not buying mercs from this this whole time. <laughs> Approval. Level two families? I guess those are just families that live in a level two home. 
Can you click on the bold words like a link? No, not in that case. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's more tabs up here I never noticed. I noticed this. Policies? Well, zero out of zero, so I guess I can't spend anything there. Production? Nothing there. Hmm. Is there a glossary? No, I don't think so. Rename region to the lab. There we go. What's the question at the bottom? Uh, it's a help menu. And there is a thing for treasury, but it gives you the same bit of dialogue that was up at the top. So the question now is how do, how do I make taxes work? Or can I do that at this point? So like, I've hired mercenaries twice in this game so far to get rid of bandits. I didn't realize that it was pulling from this money and not this money. This money we've been doing great with. So we need to figure that out. Also, we have flour. Do I have anything to use that flour yet? Um, I'm going to poke around here. Well, marketplace, fire cart, wood cart, tavern. Needs ale to function. Farming. So, farmhouse turns wheat into grain. The windmill is turning grain into flour. Oh, communal oven. Turn flour into bread. Here we go. Wait, did I already build that? No, that's a stonecutter camp. Okay. Wait, is this stonecutter camp doing anything? Uh, I think there was stone here long ago, and it's gone. Alright, so let's just get rid of that. Alright, so oven to make bread. Think you might uh, need to set up manor infrastructure before you can collect taxes. Maybe. Um, did we ever get those shields? Yeah, so we've got 36 militia now because we got those shields uh, brought in. All right, let's have one family uh, work at the communal oven. So it looks like the forester's hut plants trees as close to it as possible, because you see trees keep cropping up right here. And that's totally fine with me, I think. Funny enough, though, that means that the uh, this is further away now, but that's fine. There's these and this. Um... Okay. Uh, are the clay tiles coming along? So we do have the clay tiles to upgrade these to level 3, but it says requirements not met. Uh, which... Oh, tavern. They need tavern. Okay, so let's look at the tavern again. The tavern needs ale to function. Okay, so... To level up the lab, we need level 3 homes. Level 3 homes want beer. How do we make beer? Probably growing barley, right? And that is actually growing right now. After I grow barley, can be processed into malt and then into ale. Will I need another special building to process that? I can't say I've ever made malt uh, IRL. So I, I gotta figure this out. Pack station. Marketplace, well, burgage plot, firewood cart, fire cart, tavern, wooden church, corpse pit, last field, pasture, your monster crafting beer in the world. What? It's already beer. It says my people don't have beer. Malt house. Use barley to produce malt. That's it. 
Okay, let's put that down. Okay, windmill still going. Communal ovens making bread. Good stuff. And this field is just recovering this season. It'll grow wheat next season, and then this one will be recovering. So I really need, I think, three fields. Um, let's see. Farming. Fields. Uh, oh, but this area is green. This area is yellow. It won't be as good. Well, if I do it up here. Whoa, what just happened? <laughs> Everything just got bad. What happened? Was that just because nighttime? You changed overlay. What did I do? Huh. Okay. Alright, so there's that. Okay, so this is barley, let's say fallow, wheat, and then barley. Or barley, fallow, wheat. This is fallow, wheat, barley. So this one, fallow, wheat, barley. So it should be like wheat, crop rotation, barley, fallow, right? I think so. May have to play with that. Uh, so fallow is when they don't use it for a year so the ground can recover. Guess he's not reading YouTube right now. What's up, Calterran? Yeah, sorry, trying to figure this out. Do you know you have to be careful with the cost of establishing trade routes? Uh, no, I did not know that. You have to upgrade the settlement for taxes and tithes. Uh, which I think... It, oh, the bandits just stole some stuff. Gosh dang it. All right, malt house. Let's take one family out of there. Hmm. It's called a three field system. Yeah, I figured it out. Uh, I'm trying to do wheat right now. That is not going to be in time, but. So by the end of this, every season, we'll have one field recovering, one with wheat, and one with barley. Now, there is also flax. But, I'll have to figure that out later on. How are we doing on logs? Doing fine there. Firewood is looking great. We were hurting on firewood during this last winter, but I think we've recovered that. New mercenary companies available. Yeah, if I had any taxes to hire them. Which I don't. Let's see. Construction. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Small pit force or so. No. Where's residential? Let's, Let's rock. rock. Let's do that. Alright, let's get those. A few expansions. Hi, Shugo. How's the game? Discovered how to follow someone? Maybe that eye closed the avatar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did that a few minutes ago. Yeah, we can, uh, we can walk around the town. Oh, that tree just got chopped down. Yeah, you can zoom in and run around and look at what you got going on.
<laughs> Inside of that building's not done yet. The heck game is this? Manor Lords. Oh, I hear some guy in the market trying to sell his stuff. So plump and juicy. Hopefully he's selling fruit or something. You never know with those, uh, those, uh, those folks. Where are the soldiers? I just have militia right now. I'm trying to level up so I can afford more mercenaries. So we're exporting stone and planks, and it's basically it. Uh, where's the building that makes the planks? We might need to add more people to that. That's firewood. Saw pit is... Is it a saw pit that does it? Yeah, 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 yeah. It is saw pit. Saw pit's making planks. So I do already have two families doing that. Alright, so we got these. Burgage plot level too low. Okay. Upgrade to level two on both of those. We gotta level up to be able to get another area, cause we uh we've lost all the stone and iron in this area's gone. Alright, did these finish? Nope, that's still going. That's still going. Let's see, how is the malt house going? Nothing stored inside. Y'all did harvest the barley, right? I swear we got a bunch of that. Is it in storage? We have 106 shoes. Roof tiles. Oh, we have some malt. We do have some malt. Hmm. Um, do shoes sell? Commodities? Oh, it's expensive to set up a shoe trade route. Hmm. Did they already consume all the barley? Like, what the heck is going on? We had a full field of barley. We harvested it. It's not in the farmhouse, and then it should get processed in the malt house. And there's nothing in there, and the storage has some malt. The barley could be in transit? Like someone's carrying it right now? Maybe? Mill? I don't think the mill's used for barley, I think that's just used for flour. Yeah. I don't think it could have possibly, like, gone bad so quickly. Uh, brewery extension. Produce ale from malts. Blacksmith workshop. Tailor's workshop. Enables production of clothes and cloaks and game business. We already have a cobbler. Joiners. Production of wooden parts and shields. Enables production of war bows. Um, war bows? This game looks neat. It is neat. 
trying to wrap my head around it. All right, so that's fallow, that's wheat, that's barley. Okay. So the three field system is currently working. Let me see. If I... Wait, no, that's not going to work. Where's the malt house? The malt house is what turns malt into ale, right? Or is that what makes the malt? I'm trying to remember my terminologies here. Malt house. Uses barley to produce malt. Okay. And then, who uses the malt? Marketplace, firewood cart, food cart, tavern. Needs ale to function. Does it have to be a, one of the homes? We saw that there was a, a home extension that could do it. Brewery extension. Produces ale from malt. Okay, I guess this house is going to do it. Well, we're going to have like that one crazy redneck guy in the corner of town like making his own moonshine. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I don't know how else to do it. Isn't the release day next week? Yeah, but I'm a very special potato. It's already November. Uh, are they just plowing? Like, there is no way they're going to get done in time. Yeah, we're going into winter. Those fields are going to be dead soon. Okay, uh, we have 532 eggs. Where's the egg trade route? I know we had one. We are now exporting eggs. Uh, exporting until we're down to 200. We will keep 200 emergency eggs and sell the rest. That's a lot of eggs. There was a moment where I, I thought we were all going to starve to death, and I built every single home a chicken coop. And not only did we survive, but now we are an egg nation. Eggs porting. <laughs> 106 mukluks. How many wives can you have? What? One per family. What are you talking about? This isn't like southern Utah when you 100 years ago. This is the lab. All right. Uh, well, I don't know if this is working or not. All right, let's put a family there. All right, so these fields are doing nothing now, right? Guys, look at me! I'm so curvy! So let's take the families out of the farm. And... Let's see. Residential... Build that one. Uh, that's fine. Can I offer you an egg in this drawing time? Dude, I offer them so many eggs in this drawing time, you have no idea. Alright, the tavern has three whole alcohols. And we can upgrade this to level 3 now. Generates 2 regional wealth per family per month. Required to rise the settlement level. Adds living space for one extra family and 2 families for plots with living space expansion. Alright. So with that, we'll allow them to uh, do a much needed level up. And they get uh, clay tiles on their roofs. You know you can stretch the housing plot super far into just so many houses you want, right? Yeah, but a lot of these I built when I was uh, newer and I didn't understand that yet. But I do know that now. 
Approval will fail if not fulfilled. I, ah, I'm trying. Let's see. Uh, got a few things to do here. All right, first level those up. Bandit camp was sighted. Ah. Time to get the local rednecks to make some more moonshine. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I need winter end, and then I need to do another harvest of barley. And then we can do that. I just was watching this and I plays. The problem with watching it there is all of me yelling at my TV does a little good there. We'll see if it does you any better here. New family started moving in in the cobbler shop. Construction complete, Burgish plot level two. All right, uh, expand living space. Checking, we still have tons of timber, that's fine. I used to make uh, three to 400 Leaders of uh, Moonshine a year, IRL, hire me. Hire you <laughs> to be the local Moonshine guy. Marketplace still has lots of stall locations, that's fine. Resources stolen by bandits, oh my god. How's the egg exports? Is it going? No, we're waiting on this slow poke. This is the man that comes to buy our eggs. Take my eggs, Eggman! Wild animals have migrated? Oh no. Come buy my eggs! I wanna see if, like, I just see my money shoot up when it gets here. What? What? He bought none eggs. I'm so confused. Export. We're at 570. I wanna go down to 200. Yeah, it's set up. I don't know what's going on. Maybe there's a max number of trades he can do or something? I don't know. <sighs> okay. Um, all right, brewery. Why is it, is it more barley? Does it need more barley? I bet it needs more barley. Maybe he needs to leave the map or something? Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Let's see. Goat shed provides passive hides. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait, didn't I build one that was like doing like both? Oh, yeah, Fletcher's shop. Here it is. Does it, I guess it just passively makes bows because I haven't like ordered it to. Uh. New unit, Archer Militia. Oh, shoot. Look at that. That was, it was like instant. I already had 36 bows? Okay. A band of raiders was seen nearby. Oh, great. Uh, let's see. That one was goat, right? Yeah, that's goat. Uh. Tools, spears, and sidearms. Hmm. T 
Taylor's workshop. One mill still running. Malt house still sitting there. All right. Um, get some families going here. I see the bees? Oh yeah, we can see the beehives. That's where we get our honey. I don't know if four families in this is going to be enough. Let's put a fifth there. Is there anything you plant during the winter? Winter just ended, so the dark areas is plowed fields. They have to plow all the fields, and after that, they can start planting seeds. Right now, each of these are doing like wheat and then barley and then give it a year to rest so it, it like gets uh, nice again. So two, so these two fields this year they're gonna use. What are all the different things you can plant? Right now, wheat, barley, and flax. Uh, I have not set up to get flax. Whoa! Oh no. There's people with torches setting my town on fire. Archer guys fighting right now? Oh no, they're they're shooting way over here. Go militia! Oh, they ran! Nice! Influence gained. Okay, cool. Alright, uh disband. Everybody get back to business. Let's see what the damage is. We saw uh, the people, let's see, rubble, what was this? Okay, the, that was the tavern, okay. So that they burned the tavern down. Apiaries are still good, what is this? The windmill was burned down. The farm was burned down, oh, that's not good. Dang it. The farm is like the number one thing I need to be running right now. Uh, do we still have both our animals? Yes, we do. Our two oxen survived. Uh, can you build walls or palisades? Maybe later on, but this is like a teeny tiny village where we're trying to build up. Can't leave corpses in the street. Do we have corpses? Oh yeah, we do, we do. Um, corpse pit, not all deserve to be buried on consecrated ground. Use this building to get rid of raider corpses quickly. Well, workers become grave diggers. All right. Uh, I mean, I surely want this far away from town, right? Like, decently far? Alright, yeah, I had not made that before now. Okay. 
Okay, the farm is starting to work again. <laughs> I have no idea what you are doing, but have some subs lol. Kokosukoti, thank you so much. Welcome. Truly appreciate that. I would not want to be the farm. It's a it's a mining pit. It's a mining pit by a corpse. Pit. Oh my god! Yeah, you said some subs and then you subbed. I thought you just meant the one. Holy crap! Oh my god! All right, hold on. Let me let me show some respect here. Mugla Douglas, but thought to be original. That's why the fourth is the chapter festival. The third because you. Cocos of Cody Snaffles, Blivik, Oni, Sid Summons 91, Where Did Lamps Go, Spiral, Root, Benjamin, 007, Elroy, Sinland, Runa, Toe, God, Liza, BTC, Kevlar, Spaghetti, O Bandit, Django, Lordy, Iridescent, XI, Just Sanity 92, Hain, Ram Steiner, Karen, CK, X, Zion, Taz, Zena, 932, Mr. Ant, 522, and Lord Durza to the lab. Hope you enjoy all the entertainments on the way. Crank up the speakers, don't touch your speakers, giveaways every week. Please take a seat, but you'll only need the edge. Mmm. Welcome. And thank you. Appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Bro, what? <laughs> okay. All right, he just likes the intro, clearly. Clearly, he just loves the intro. It's a minute. Did they get all the dead people? Okay, I think- oh, well, no. Wait, what? Is that a dead cow? Did they kill my cow? One out of two. Stable space, one out of one. I think they killed my cow. Earnhardt? Hans is dead. Hans, no! He's been with us since the beginning, chat. He's been with us since the beginning. Oh my gosh. Muggle Dog is about to be original desk by the fourth of the Civil's the third. Welcomes not Hans. Uh Lukash Clock Nov Kokal Gone Free Dangles Rescar Mod VT Namantu Raven Wolfie and Go Ryan91 to the lab. Hope you enjoy all seeing to demons on the way. Crack at the speakers, don't touch the speakers, giveaways every week, please take a seat, but I'll only need the edge. Mm. Oh, also Rob Fitz with the Prime. Thank you for using your Prime here. Not trying to make you speak, just love your stuff. Yo, I love that you love my stuff. People loving my stuff keeps me employed, so I don't have to go, like, work at Wendy's or something. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's great for all of us. <laughs> no, there's absolutely zero hate to people that work at Wendy's. Y'all make fantastic burgers. I just don't want to do that. <laughs> Are you saving money, though? Yeah, I, can, I, I got it enough for an extra ramen on a good day. Why Wendy's of all places? Yeah, me, me and my kid love Wendy's. We do we do father-son outings to Wendy's from time to time. We got usuals there. We used to go to Five Guys, but then they like jacked up the price. Now it's like thirty to forty dollars for two people, and it's just like, no, this is too expensive. It's way too expensive. Well, let's see, there are four dead bodies in the corpse pit right now. Mickey D's is too expensive. Ah, Wendy's is more expensive than McDonald's. Uh, many mesmers were harmed during the making of those videos, but they were all bad, is what sold me. <laughs> Uh, that was the, uh, what was that? The, the white mantle portal device, I think, guide? Maybe the price for one is supposed to be paid by five guys. Or her, 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 her. Alright, let's take that out. And burgage plots. Alright, there's one. There's two. There's one. 
There's three more homes. That'll each fit two families. All right, so the plowing is done. And now they can begin the sewing. All right, so the animals moved. Can the hunters still reach them? Let's get rid of that. And how do I make hunting camp? There we go. There we go. We'll do that. We'll move it closer. We are we are nomadic people. Not really. We're just we just have one group of folks moving around. It's raining sideways. Family, another family. Uh, did we get our new animal? We got Earnhardt. <laughs> How do we get the dead ox out of the road? I bought another ox earlier. It's not here yet. Did that say dead in the stable? Yeah, well, the stable says Hans is dead, and if I click it, it goes to this guy. Mike, you gotta react to that Rose video now. I'll react to his, like, his other Guild Wars 2 video, and then I'll use that, like, me reacting to that thumbnail as the thumbnail. So it'll be, like, you know, five layers deep. All right, I don't think I need any more people in the corpse pit right now. All right, uh, there's construction to do, so I'm just gonna, any of families not assigned to anything are your builders. So I'm gonna let them keep building right now. Resource stolen by bandits. And you punks! <sighs> I'm not sure if they can bury the dead ox or how that works. Also curious how many hides you get from the goat shed. Upgrade complete. Okay, that was over here. Backyard extension. Um, get more goats. The other two... Dude, I swear we're not exporting eggs. And I'm not sure why. Just for some variety, let's have a few people make vegetable gardens. Right now, the, the this whole place. You remember that song with Gaston? He, uh, he's like, I eat five dozen eggs every morning. Like, that's this whole town. We just, just live off eggs. Did you set them to export? Yes. Yeah, look, trade, food, export eggs. I have 714. Please take me down to 200. And it's like, yeah, how about I never sell any eggs? There. I just retyped it in. Maybe that'll help. I'm just re-entering it. Don't they give enough eggs? <laughs> Never enough eggs. Wait, it says excess food needs to be moved to a granary. Uh, hold on. I don't know if I have one of those. Um, I have storehouse. Granary. Do I have a granary somewhere? I wish I could hold a button and see the names of all the buildings above them. 
The bottom line, I don't think I have a granary. Alright, let's make that. I don't know how much of this is going to grow by end of year. Family members join one of the settlers. Okay, we got some more people. Maybe you need to look for the egg sport option. Wait, 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 wait. Can I do animal get here yet? No. <laughs> I bought another ox earlier. Where is it? All right, it livestock order placed. Okay. All right, it says it's placed. Did you build a manor yet? No. To build a manor, I need a higher level town. To build a higher level town, I need three level three houses. To make three level three houses, they have to have a working tavern. To have the working tavern, we need ale. To have ale, I need another shipment of barley. To do that, I need this field to produce barley before the next winter hits. We have been trying for two years to get these people drunk enough to build another house. <laughs> That is, that's where we are right now. New family started moving in. Awesome. Didn't it say you need a small village to make a manor? Yeah, look, next settlement level, slime, small town, to Japan, right kids. there. It's time for tentacles. I don't know why they won't export eggs either. Oh, uh, all the fields just disappeared. Do we just, so October, Do we just run out of time? I think I got nothing from the farms. Okay. Do I need to reduce the size of these fields? I think so. Alright. Okay. Ugh. Do that to start with. Each of those are substantially smaller. All right, fallow, rotation, wheat, barley. Okay, wheat, rotation, barley, fallow. Barley, rotation, uh, fallow, and then wheat. Okay, can I import some ale? I mean, they're probably gonna go through it so quickly. You can import barley. How will I not sell the eggs? I guess that I guess that works. Um, barley imports until I have like. Kokosi Koti gifted a tier 1 sub to Lucinda Chan. They have given 221 gift subs in the channel. Kokosi Koti, thank you! Welcome, Lucinda Chan. There was ale under the candlestick icon. Yeah, but it's cheaper if I get barley and then I can just process it myself. It's fine. So 
So they're gonna start to do this, and then winter's gonna hit, and it's gonna just... Again. Yeah, I worry I'm getting... Because, like, the other places are, like, expanding and stuff, and I'm just, like, struggling to get these Tier 3 houses because my people are luscious. Vodka, vodka. Uh, let's see. Construction... Stone cutter, no. Residential. Mukluk, hi. Hi. Dude, what? Hold on. There, that's what I want. That's the that's the setup that seems best. Okay. Kokashi Kuti gifted a tier 1 sub to Shvafelf 377. They have given 222 gift subs in the channel. What do you think about the game so far? I like it. Um, I got a lot to learn. There is, uh, there is a lot I am trying to learn. But it, uh, it's not a done game yet, but it's very solid so far. Look how detailed this is. They didn't need to go this hard. Or they, I guess he. This is made by one dude. Amazing. Why not build larger burgage plot and set it to one or two houses instead of doing it one at a time? Uh, I don't know how to do what you just said. I just know how to, like, size them until you get what you want. Kokosikoti gifted a tier 1 sub to Joprokl. They have given 223 gift subs in the channel. Drawers let you adjust how many houses will be. So, like, I'm drawing this. How do I adjust it? Oh. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. I did not realize that. Awesome. Nice. Uh, Kokosu Cody again. Schweffel F377 and Jopa Rockle. And Axorexio, thank you guys so much. Welcome. Appreciate you. We have none more money. We are out of money. Do we finish making the granary? Yeah, it's got some eggs and herbs in it. Anyone give it the vibe stream again? How's my lord so far? Good so far. I'm uh, in a weird spot right now. They stole my malt. I'm in a weird spot right now. So, I, you know, just like with any game, you play it the first time, and after a few hours, you're like, wow, I've been bad up until this point. I'm realizing lots of mistakes I made. I'm kind of in a weird corner right now, and I'm trying to get out of it. Specifically, there's a number here, and at one point, this was in the thousands. That's regional wealth. I thought I was spending that. I wasn't. I was spending this, treasury, and I cannot refill the treasury and you use the treasury to buy mercenaries. And I was using mercenaries to defend myself, and I can no longer do that. So, uh, yeah. When you're playing Factorio, this is the moment you delete everything and rebuild your base. <laughs> you know what they say when you're stuck in a corner, break through the wall? Do they say that? 
What am I spending all my money on right now? Hold on. Let's, let's go to trade here. It's supposed to be exporting stone, exporting planks. Oh, it's buying barley, which is really expensive. Comparatively. Where was the option for ale? Oh, there it is. Firewood bread. Uh, I do not have enough bread to sell. You sold eggs, though, I think. Maybe there's only so many he can buy at a time. I don't know. I took the worker out of the graveyard. It looks like we don't need someone working there right now. Your eggs are down from 700. Well, they are eating them, too. Alright, upgrading these. Every level 2 building gives you another coin per month from taxes. You're auto-buying firewood and... Oh, um... Yeah, I forgot about this. Firewood cart. Um, all right, let's sell that. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And then this is buying bread. Let's, let's sell that. Yeah, those carts um, do like drain money and auto buy other things, which when I built them, we needed them, but now we don't. I think I can just like replace them whenever I need them though. Yeah, they're right here. They're free to put down. Good call. Yeah, I forgot about those. Uh, did that second ox ever show up? Han's dead. It's... <sighs> Bro, what? So twice I've bought a second ox at this stable and it's never showed up. Wait, it says guiding an ox. Coca Cicote gifted a tier Fritz. one sub to Corey underscore Corne. They have given 224 gift subs in the channel. Wait. Airheart? Wait, Fritz and Airheart? Wait, is this thing bugged? No, that's Airheart. Wait, so we... Hold on, what? Kokosikoti gifted a tier 1 sub to Nomalit Fromage. They have given 225 gift subs in the okay, channel. Okay, so we have another ox named Fritz, and it's just not assigning him to the stable. Can you demolish Hans? <laughs> demolish him? No, I can't even click on him. I can't click on Hans. Demolish him. Uh, let's assign a family. I just realized there's not a family assigned to the granary. There has to be a way to remove the body. I mean, it's a beta game, so... It might just be a glitch. Also, the fact that we found an ox named Fritz, but it's not, like, assigning it to the stable is also weird. Resources. So Kokosi Koti gifted a tier one sub to Comanchik. They have given 226 gift subs in the channel. Oh my god, how. Uh, they're at the other end of the freaking world. Yeah, I don't want to send militia all the way over there because then I gotta bring them all the way back and they're gonna be exhausted. Sorry. You do not have to apologize for literally paying my bills, Coke. I thank you for it. I appreciate that.
Is the stable limited to two animals? This is a level one hitching post. This is a level two hitching post, which turns into a stable, and it can hold two animals. And right now it is holding uh, an ox named Fritz, but it's not listing it here where it should. Can't you build a new stable, maybe? Uh, I could try. Hang on. There, demolish that. Um, where's the hitching post? Pack station? Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Alright, building a new one. What are we doing on timber? Oh, we have tons of timber. Okay. We have a lot of families now. Growth is going good. Just that tavern. That's the problem. Eight families on the farm. Get it. Uh, high priority on the hitching post so we get the other animal there. Don't want to interrupt your vids if you're doing that. No, no, Coco. We're, uh... Th this is just gaming. This is just gaming and learning. Now, if, if I'm recording a vid and I need a uh, silence while I do it, I usually just, like, disable the alerts. Uh, they go into a queue, and then I, like, unleash it and play them all at the end. Alright, yeah, smaller field. They were able to plow it much more quickly, of course. I think ox do, uh, I think not doing the fields at the start slowed down your progress a lot. I think I made the fields too big because they don't plant a thing until they were done plowing the whole thing. So they plow the whole thing, then they plant the whole thing, and then winter would hit and we lose everything. Repeat. I think that happened to me for a while. There's Fritz. It's showing up now. Although we still have a dead ox on the road, Fritz is showing up now. Do you have the Lord Mansion? Uh, I can make a manor after I get a level, a small town. A small town requires three level three houses. Those require a beer, and beer requires barley, and I'm trying to get barley. Honestly, I've been importing barley for a while. I don't know where it's been going. Like, we should have some. Unless it's in the, the malt house? I don't know. How did that happen? Which one? <laughs> Which of the things that I said? Can you harvest the dead ox? No, I can't even click on it. It's just like a graphic there. I don't know if it died of old age or if it died during the bandit attack earlier. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Thank you, Coca Sakoti. Truly appreciate that. Huge. Welcome. You think it died during the bandit attack? That is a possibility. Uh, veggies. And yeah, we're out of money again.
I was talking about having 103 for the town uh, progression. Oh, because at one point I had a little bit of ale, and so a house let me upgrade it, and I was able to upgrade one single house to the third level. That's why. Like, I've got a tiny bit, like, I've got one ale in here, so I should be able to meet the needs for one house, but I don't know which one. If it works like that. Check your farm real quick. I think there might be stuff more advanced. Permanent livestock assignment. Assign livestock worker. Yeah, I did upgrade plows earlier, but uh, I didn't assign an ox to permanently stay at the uh, the farm. I may have just done that. They just stole 12 shoes from me? <laughs> what is this, Detroit? They stole my shoes. Oh my god. Okay, I just saw a bunch of beer get drunk in the tavern. What do you mean requirements not met? Oh, cause I don't, wait, no, I have the coin. I have the coin. I have the timber, I have the planks. I have the roof tiles. I have hella roof tiles. And all the needs are currently met. I don't know why it's not letting me do the upgrade. Wait. Uh, oh. Food stall supply? Oh, this one... Okay, now let's say it's missing tavern. <sighs> so Forger's hut's doing its thing. Hunters are doing their thing. That stuff's growing. Like, right now. Okay, now it says not enough wealth. So now I don't have enough money. Yeah, I'm like, spending all the money on barley. Okay, where's the trade thing? Let's, um, stop trading for barley. Frustrating. I wonder if you can get money for your treasury by attacking the bandits in nearby areas. Get a little. Certainly be a hike. And the whole time I'm running... Yeah, there's two camps down here. The whole time I'd be running down there, my people would be getting tired and would not be accomplishing anything. We could try it. Let me do a save. And let's see... Switching time, we'll try. Move 
I can't tell when that is like activated versus not activated. The burn more stamina to run faster thing. You have to be careful here though, because the archers are way faster than the other dude. message this belongs to my treasury hey there we go okay all right so that's one way to get treasury money and i did that before and i didn't realize i was doing it so now i can get some mercs if i have to wait what did more of them just spawn behind me I know we got some workers at home while they're dealing with all this, but not tons. Alright. And there's one over here, it looks like. Actually, wait. Did I not loot this, or is this a different one? I don't know if it just spawned or not. Farms are still growing. Okay, so we're not missing any farming time right now. Good night, Mr. Muck. Wish you the best. Thank you, Coco. Really appreciate all that support tonight. Thank you so, so much. They stole my eggs! I'll give this to the peoples. Dude, there's, like, I swear more bandit camps are spawning as I'm doing this. Poached your eggs and scrambled your plans. Okay. What was I going to use that money for? Oh, that's right. We're going to try to upgrade the houses. Level three. Level three. Yes! Oh my god. We got enough drunk workers to do it. All right. The process has begun. That'll let, it, let us uh, become small town, and then I get that, that we're past the clog that we were stuck in. <laughs> they immediately gave up. They're like, oh, hell no, this is way too many people. Alright, go home, boys. As a uh, reward for your, pro your good service, uh, you may now work the farms. <laughs> Combat in this game reminds me of Total War. Yeah, I agree with that. Alright, let's see. This one, let's do farm and farm. 
Look at our nice houses. They're still under construction, but they're making. They're getting there. They're getting there. Where's our boys? There they are. Hey, look, they're harvesting. Woo! It's September. What merc, group, what merc groups do you have access to now? Uh, hang on, I'll check. All right, see, so these guys disband. You guys get back to your lives and disband. Get back to your lives. Uh, someone asked about the Merc groups. Right now, it's just the Wayward Sons. Carry on, Mac. They constantly change from time to time. We have seen those before. Alright, making sure that all of the buildings related to processing a bread and ale do have people in them, and it looks like they do. Okay, so Burgage plots level three or higher, two out of three. Oh, one of them's not quite done yet. There we go. There we go. We are a small town, and we have a point that we can spend here. Uh, you can start getting wax from your bees. Passive income of meat. Charcoal burning. Uh, trade logistics. Establishing a new trade route always costs a maximum of 25 regional wealth. That's very decreased price. Uh, sheep breeding. Produce apples. Apple harvest happens around September every year. Uh, they take three years to grow. Fertilization. Allows you to use a fallow field as a pasture, which rapidly restores lost fertility. Oh, we're going to use the power of poop. Bakeries. Produce bread from flour with twice the efficiency. Hmm. I'm thinking trapping for the meat, because we are constantly out of meat, and then just, like, survive. Like, look, we have four meat and 500 eggs. So now my question is, how do I do that? Also, can I make the manor yet? I can make the manor. Where are we gonna put the manor? I'm gonna I'm gonna live uh, right next to the bees, maybe. Hmm. on a hill overlooking my serfs. Welcome to the Castle Planner. This is a work in progress feature. Here you can edit the layout of your castle and plan construction of new wings and towers. What? When you press commit, the old layout will disappear and the new one will be constructed. For now, the cost is fixed. Huh? Is this supposed to happen for a mayor's house? Tax office, cosmetic only until rework. Garrison tower, increase max retinue size by 12, one per region. Uh, oh, outer tower provides 10 garrison space. Okay, try that. Oh, 
apartment's not in the, oh yeah, the tavern's out again. Uh, oh, the trapping. How, so I unlocked trapping earlier. How do I do that? Charcoal kiln, no, oh, that's not it. Wait, do, maybe the hunting camp does it? That sounds like it could be it. Hunting camp. No? Unless it's a passive and it doesn't just say it. See, marketplace, firewood cart, fire cart, tavern, wooden church, corpse pit, farming, industry. Trading post, livestock trading post. Don't see it. Uh, enable hunters to skillfully lay traps in the forest, giving passive income of meat. Hunters. That's hunter camp, right? Let's put a second group there. I, I assume it's the hunting camp. Pretty sure I saw the word trapping when you were clicking through the hunting camp. Did you? Generic storage pantry. Hides meat. People... Oh! Jacob currently trapping. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so it's uh, it's just added to that. All right. Nine free stall locations. Manor under construction. Uh, I made a tailor. Yeah, I have a tailor. I have boyer. I have cobbler. I have a brewery. I don't think I have a joiner. And I don't think I have a blacksmith. The others can do veggie gardens. My mayor's house with a tower. To look down on my peasants. Mm, yes. I approve. You, woman, finish building this. <laughs> so I may look down upon you with my pointy shoes. <gasps> That's right. Back to work. Or equal opportunity here. Oh, I think I just saw an ox plowing. Look at it go! <laughs> oh boy. Hey, Monkey Shot. Hey, Naxon. Is there any more threats right now on the map? Don't see any right this second. Wait, claim with influence is an option. Okay, hold on. Before I do that, how did I get influence? Required for diplomacy and pressing claims. Can be gained from raising settlement level, enacting a policy, conquering bandit camps. Okay, I did that a bunch. And upgrading churches and manors. All right. Uh, so there's five nodes there and five nodes there. They both have five nodes. Okay. I'm thinking that Goldhoff. Goldhoff claiming. Okay.
Si ya I'm guarding your red here for the end you're going to your boys. I am maximum safe. Hey dog dog. Uh I don't know how much of this is gonna I don't know how much of this is gonna grow before winter hits. It's November right now. Region claimed. You could cycle between your commanded regions by pressing T. Okay. Alright. Okay, so I've got a road going over here. Um, how to set this up, you guys? So, do I need to place in the place it on the empty claim territory to settle it? Grants base starting supplies and five families. Oh, yes, you got to do this. Okay, so those aren't like maybe those aren't available. Okay, either A, I haven't unlocked those, B, I haven't fulfilled like a prerequisite, or C, it's not available in this beta version of the game. Okay, so let's see. So, I gotta remember how to start here. So, we're gonna need. Oh, I hit R to rotate. That's the wrong game. Alright, that's the Forager Hut. And. Hunting Camp. Okay, and then they're going to need a... Logging camp. Woodcutters. Man, uh, this is kind of unfortunate because I made this right before winter hit you guys. That could go poorly because of that. These people are going to be freezing in their boots in just a second. Where's the thing to replant? Oh, foresters. That's what I'm looking for. Alright, forager hut. Out of person. I wonder, does, uh... Hour two... Wait, hold on. Click on the Taxes tab after selecting your manor to set levels of taxation. Taxes can boost your treasury and influence at the cost of making your population poor. Alright, so it looks like your resources do not share between regions. This is almost like starting a new playthrough over here. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Um, I believe there was a trading hub thing to go between regions. Enables trading with traveling merchants, trade po posts, and trading po ah, tra traveling merchants, trade points, and trading posts in other regions. Um. Not enough? What? Okay. Construction finished logging camp. Put a fam there. Woodcutters camp, put a fam there. Can I stay with 
Stocks damaged by weather. No. Family requests more market area for their stall. Free stall locations, nine. What? What's your problem? Policies available. Wild animals on rich deposits breed... Breed breed. <laughs> Wild animals on rich deposits breed breed twice as fast at the cost of 50% reduced yields from crops. Citizens skip every fifth meal. Reduces food consumption but decreases approval. Locked in early access, locked in early access. Yo, I don't really want either of these. <laughs> I, I can't really say I desire either of those things. Set taxes at the manor. Um, land tax. Tithe. Percentage of surplus food given to the church in return for influence. Oh god, I thought it was going to be 1% per click. <laughs> the face. Meh. 10%. Just issue a fashion magazine with skinny citizens. We'll skip that fifth mill voluntarily. Oh my god. Just, just invent Barbie. Alright. That's, uh, residential. about that second town. I really wish I had noticed that it was about to be winter before I did this. I'm worried about him. Speaking of noticing, I'm like, hi, Jackals. Family requests market area for their stall. Oh, 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 that's okay. I get it, I get it, I get it. That's this one. That's this village, not the other one. There you go. That one's free. That's just zoning. a weird place to build your thing like way over there away from the road you should be closer to the road it's more business all right trying to trying to get houses up so these people can get out of these tents and not die you know the minor things How are we doing over here? Wait, what? Why are we so low on planks over here? And no, wait, what? And why can't I see the firewood? What is going on? Now I can see it. Now we are low on planks though, that's weird. What am I using all my planks on? Hmm. I actually don't know what the horses are used for. I'm gonna order another ox. Uh, okay, go back to this one. All right, that has two fams, that has two fams. Now that will have two fams. Uh, 
Okay. Alright, cool. We got everyone out of the tents. That was the first emergency. I wonder if the trading post will link your regions. It said it would, yeah, but I haven't been able to do that yet. I, I was going for survival with these people first. Okay, so now we not only have homes for all of the people that are already here, but we've got room for more to move in. We've got people making firewood. Um, it's a matter of food. Okay, they have enough supplies via fuel and food to survive the winter. Good. Good, 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 good. All right. Once the construction finishes, I'm going to assign that last family to the forester's hut. Okay, I think all those are done. All right, so let's do that. Okay, go back here. Um, mercenary camp available. Whoa, retinue, the lab. Oh, the retinue is like the manor's personal guard. I forgot about that. The Wayward Sons. Let's get the Wayward Sons. All right. Uh, so they just appeared there. All right, where are these bandits? Carry your map. Wait, way over here. Good lord. All right, y'all head over that way. Okay, so we got our second little town here. Anyone else always think of Supernatural when they hear, Carry on my way. This is like, <laughs> the song for that show. Yeah, they sing it better, but you know. Stop to say hi, still having uh, issues. See y'all soon. Hey, Bluebell, hope you get well soon. Resources stolen by the bandits. We're working on that. Hang on, chat. He is at maximum arm's reach. But he is here. Making me work for the scritches. Okay. At some point soonish, more families should pop in here. All right, let's go down. Let's see, where's our mercs? There they are. Okay. All right, so over here we need, oh, they don't have water? They don't have muck and water. I gotta, I gotta make them a well, chap. I forgot something a little important. All right, so do that. Unassign the forester's hut. And can't do that yet. Gonna need the storehouse and the granary. All right, cue those up. All right, over here. Since they've got the oxen helping plow, I'm honestly considering making more fields here. They don't need water, just build a brewery. They have a brewery. They keep running out of the stuff. It's March, so the snow's going to start melting. Is this a new release game? Uh, it's actually going to be in... Oh, I just noticed both of these are archers. That's not great. Uh, it's actually going to be purchasable in open beta soon. I got an early access copy of it because I'm a special potato. 
Oh wow, they broke before they even reached the archers. I was concerned because this group has no melee units, but it turned out okay. What's the date this becomes uh, purchasable for uh, everybody? Hold on, I'm tapping out to Steam. Uh, release date is April 26. That's when it can be uh, picked up by anybody that's interested. Alright. We got that. Wait, can I claim another region? I can. Uh, I'm attempting to right now. If you're done with the Horizon game, can we have our redeems back? I actually gave one of them back today. Uh, Cyber's the only one that realized it yet. <laughs> Alright, uh, claiming Waldbrand. This one was really easy to set back out. Because this one I just had to close the program. The snap one, I had to, like, gut it to get it to, like... Like, it's still installed on the computer, but I had to completely detach it from the OBS to get my camera to work again. Region claimed. Oh boy. Alright. Uh... So this is where it's going to center here. Okay. Settlers camp. Hold on. That's kind of weird because the food's like way over there. Alright. Let's see. Hunting camp. There. Forager's hut. We need to build a road. Alright, forager's hut. There. And a well. Oh my god! Hi, Jay, you too could sign up for Patreon and it'd scare me. Oh, I just realized the last well I built may not have been on an underground... Okay, lucky it was above an underground river. Those are underground rivers, Jeff. I forgot to check that. It's purely luck that it's fine. Uh, let's see. Alright, let's do... Logging camp. Uh... Woodcutters and foresters huts. Okay, and these guys go in fields. Don't you mean scale muck? Yeah. Alright, back over to these guys. Why do they not okay, so they need the church. They need the church. Okay, so they need the wood processing thing. Will they not, will more people not move in without the church? Uh, saw pit, planks, that's what I need. Hunting camp is done. That one's not. Whoa. Let's see. Oh god. Where there it is. Alright, sign a family to that. Still waiting on okay, sign a family to that. Uh they're gonna need a marketplace. I 
that work? It's not working. There. Okay. There we go. Alright. Woodcutter's camp plus logging camp still building. Did you claim two regions? I claim two more. Yeah. We are very powerful. There needs to be a large muck-like statue in the town center. I completely agree with you. <laughs> 110%. Uh, is this for Smashy? Hey, Smashy. Alright, go over here. Uh, can the manor do anything over here? See, we need 10 burgage plots. 10 level 3 burgages. Tavern is still an issue. Let's see. Fallow wheat barley. Uh, where is farming? Okay. Boop, boop. 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 Okay, so this one is fallow wheat barley. So this will be fallow wheat barley. And this is barley fallow wheat. So barley, fallow, wheat, and this is wheat, barley, fallow. Wheat, barley, fallow. Alright. I think with eight families plus an ox, they'll be able to handle that. Alright, this one... Ah, yes, nice. Mo new families moved in here. Good, 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 good. Um... Hmm... How do I get started on passive income for them again? Small village. Saw pit. Alright, they need someone at the saw pit. Someone at the forester hut. Okay, and... Figure this out. Trading post. need more people. Enemy unit spotted. Okay. Get my mercenaries. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Alright. Sending them to try to address that. All right, well, this is town number three. Hunting camp has a team. Long has one. Okay, so at this point, they need the homes. So, burgage plots. That's too ambitious right now. All right. Still too ambitious. We're not allowed to have things. Dude, that's still six? Are you serious? There. Okay. That that works for now. Alright. So here comes the attackers. Mercs are heading that way. Little concerned, because they're just archers. But the numbers are equal. And the enemy's brigands, and my guys are trained people, so fingers crossed.
But that's uh, no, it's not ready yet. Okay. Construction finished trading post. Okay, that was here. I don't think I have enough people to utilize it yet, though. If it, yeah, it does need people. I do not know how you... So the trading post says you can use it to, like, in a trade between your towns. I don't know how to do that. I don't see, like, a new tab here or anything. Es enables trading with visiting traveling merchants, trade points, and tra trading posts in other regions. Which I have one in another region. Maybe if I put people in there, it'll automatically balance it? I'm not sure. Uh, for Oh! It has begun, chat. I'm surprised. Again, we didn't have melee. These are just, I just had archer boys. And uh, they thrashed those guys and lost, like, one person? Maybe three? No, like three people. Okay. Do you have a victory condition in this, or is it a sandbox? Do you have bit redeems off? No, I do not. I do not have bit redeems off. Uh... Did you say something no-no? Hang on, let me tap out. Dude, that's literally part of how I make a living. No, I don't have bit redeems off. Uh... Let's see. Let's find it. Let's find an old bit redeem and see if it uh, and replay it. See if it works. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while since someone else did one. Hang on. Blue G got us good. There you go. That's one from like yesterday. So bit redeems are working. That just means that you said something absolutely degenerate. <laughs> what was the thing that you said? You said, how does Muck Von Lux text-to-speech pronounce burgage? The world now knows. Oh, <laughs> nope, the world doesn't know. The world does not know. Okay, this one's still building. That's doing its thing. This one... Can expand more. Can expand more. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's see. Burgage plots. Burgage. <laughs> now we know. The world wants to know, though. Now we know. Thank you, Nog. All right, add another home to that one. Add or another another resident to that one and that one. Timber. Okay, we can afford another burgage. You know what this kind of feels like? Like I've got three phones in front of me and I'm juggling playing Clash of Clans on all of them. Because <laughs> so far I don't actually have like any interaction between these towns. I wonder if I make a manor in every place or just in, uh, like the one that I did. All right, we can make a trading post here. Uh, establish trade route, dedicate trading to major trade. Major trades. New development point for Goldhoff. Um, Goldhoff. Apiary for honey. Orchardry for apples. 
Let's get a uh, trapping for the passive meat income. Re you really can't go wrong with the uh, free food. Alright, making room for more families here. Going down here. Make more room for families at this one. And... How are we doing on timber here? Okay, we can make room for another burgage here. Check that doorway's width so that cart can fit in. Okay. Back to the main town. Treasury change registered. Nice. You know, now that I know that that's the treasury, not that number, that makes, you know, I finally understand why, you know, once upon a time we just suddenly lost all of our mercs and I didn't understand why. It's probably because that ran out of money and I couldn't pay them. The main thing here is we need to be able to uh, keep the tavern going the whole time. So we need a lot more barley. Can upgrade to a large storage. So we need to jumpstart... The money here. I think the way I did that the last time. Let's see. What do we? What else do we have to work with here? There's a clay deposit, a stone deposit, and iron. I think I was selling planks or something. I think that's how I started making money here. So trade planks. Let's say. Exports when I uh, get me down to 50 and then just sell the excess. And that will start bringing in income. Can you make the church yet? Uh, let me see. Yes, we can. Where do we want it? Maybe right there. Nothing like having God across the street judging you while you're shopping. Add a family to that. Alright, so this is region 3. This is Waldbrand. They need planks. Woodcutters Lodge, Logging Camp, Foresters. Wait, what are they missing? Hold on, something's missing. Saw pit. They don't have a saw pit. So build that. So church is not required to get more people. It, I mean, they want it, but that's not one of the requirements for them to get more people. Now I know. It has benefits? Oh yeah, no, they, they, they want it for their own happiness, yeah. But that's, you know, just saying it's not required for that. Um... All right, assign a person to the church. And let's see, yeah, there's one there. Okay, Woodcutter's Lodge, Forester's Pit, Saw Pit. Okay, all of those have people. Okay, we're starting to get money in this place very slowly. Let's do what worked for us so well earlier and spend some of that money getting eggs. Nothing support. Dude, my main town, look at the food. Eggs are still what keeps them alive. Do you have a horse for the trading post? Um, no. Uh, why does it say stable space 2, but Earhart is there? So confused. All right, I'm gonna order a horse. Stocks getting. Wait, what? Oh, there's no storage here. That's why. Um. 
Bunch of bodybuilders. Yeah, well, that gassed on. Can't get beekeeping in this region. So that's storehouse. And then we'll want greenery. Making sure everyone has enough total supplies to survive the winter. They're all good. Wow, they actually got two harvests out of this year. That's awesome. Yeah, I was right. Eight families plus a plow. They were able to uh, handle more fields. Which is what I had uh, when I tried having the big fields earlier. It was too much for them. Okay, we got a little bit more coin. That's enough for more eggs. Infinite eggs. Okay, we can assign a person to the storehouse and a person to the granary. Is Chip nearby? He is actually. Do you want to see him again? He is here. Let him rest a bit. He was napping, and we we bothered him. Cat status is bothered. Let's see. Da -da. Okay, this place. Does this place have a trading post? Yeah, I don't think it does. Still waiting on more people to move in here. Oh nope, didn't mean to do that. Uh, industry, trading post. Kind of put that here by the main road. Hi. Is your bedtime? Okay. Chat, uh, I'll leave it going on slow speed for a second. And let's see. Oh, here. Give me just a minute. I'll be right back. I'm going to tell the boy goodnight. Okay, we back. Let's see. New family has moved into Waldbrand. Uh, oh, that's the first additional new family to for Waldbrand at all. Okay. Um, where do we need a market here, right? Yeah, we do have a marketplace. Okay. So let's confirm a few things because I'm juggling three cities now. We've got, oh gosh, somewhere in this mess. There we go. Hunting camp. Yep, there's people there. Good. And where is the forager hut? Yep, people there. Okay. Does this place have, let's see, saw pits? Does not have people. Okay. So let's get people in the saw pit for this town. Red storage somewhere. That is actually a known, wait, build more hitching. Post one. It just says it's Fritz. Erhart. What? What? I feel like there's a glitch. Now, granted, it's a it's a beta game. It's early access. I feel like there's a, a bug with the stables. 
Like, uh, earlier that we had a dead ox, and it, well, the, I mean, one, it hasn't despawned in like three years. That thing smells terrible. Uh, but it kept taking up space in the stables for like a super long time. Uh, no, 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 no. Where is the hitch? Like, I'll do another hitching post there, but I don't know if it's going to do anything. Poke it with a stick? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, the, the, the town loves it. Oh, I can upgrade a couple more to level three. A bunch more, actually. All right, go over here. Uh, let's see. Wait, bandits? Oh, you did not. You did not. Where are they? Where are they? Where are my wayward sons? <laughs> Get over here. They're stealing our eggs. Okay, one five. Uh, not much more I can do here yet. Waiting on more families to get here. Uh, this one has more money. We can up our egg income for our egg pyre. Our egg empire. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Storehouse. And new hitching post says that there's. Plenty of room. Not really sure what happened there. Uh, trading post. Can we... Okay, I just attempted to permanently assign a livestock there. Not sure if it's going to work, but I tried. Do... Order another ox. You have to make sure you have, like, one ox that's not assigned to a specific job so that everybody can just grab it when they need it. Like, for uh, moving building materials around and stuff. If you don't, it's like, just a whole bunch of things start getting stuck. It's the October right now. Oh, look at all these nice houses. This is looking like a, a, a proper town. Let's see, two ten. All right, so there's an extra family in this area. Oh, that is a misclick. Let's close that. Ah. Ah. What's happening? Exposed stocks are getting soaked rubble. Whoa, what? Fire? Did bandits attack? Or was that just like a freak accident? Uh, okay. There was a fire in Goldhof. I don't know how that happened. It's storming. I wonder if lightning struck? I don't know if that can happen or not. Okay, there's an extra family here now. So let's add this. Trade. Planks. Open a plank trade route. We're going to export planks until we're down to 50. Alright. So as more planks are made here in the saw pit, it should start generating money in that town. Uh, we can also... Let's see. We should be able to fit eight. We should be able to fit one more. Alright, we'll... Have one family work in the forester's hut. All right, let's zoom out. Where's our wayward sons? There they are. Uh, I don't actually see any bandits. I just see the bandit camp. But we'll start taking care of that. Okay, this town needs another family to move in before I can do much with them. How are the farmers doing? Look like they're handling their fields pretty good. OK, 
Okay, looks like they rebuilt the building that burned down in that freak spontaneous combustion accident. New message. Um, send to the nearest town. Which one did it go to? That did not go to the nearest town. Because they, they were here. This is clearly the nearest town. But it did not go there. In any case, uh, the Wayward Sons took out the bandits. So that's good. Uh, looking to see if there's any more bandit camps. On the back oh my god, noises. I don't see any. Alright, so let's just move them back to like a central area so they can respond to anything. Alright. If you want to, you can upgrade your manor troops. Can I? People? Taxes? General? The retinue? Retinue customization. Oh, this is like just what they look like. Uh... Afraid of horses. <laughs> um, how, how? You can add more? Increase max retinue size by 12. Oh, I already have that. Outer tower provides 10 garrison space. Garrison units and villagers shoot projectiles at approaching enemies. Walls and gates. Oh, that's cool. It automatically makes the gate at the road. <laughs> so that's kind of neat. Go back to the troop menu. Um, okay, so right here. Recruit a man at arms, 50. Oh, there we go. Promote one of your citizens to your retinue locked in early access. Okay, okay. Cool. Now, the, the retinue, I believe, are not like farmers and stuff like the, like the militia. Like, when you use your retinue, it doesn't pull away from other tasks, I think. This is pretty well done for one person. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, this is a testament to what someone can do if they just keep chipping away at a project for years and years. Let's see. Okay, we got three of ten free here. Uh, let's see. Upgrade that. Let's check each of these. They're all fine. Um, what else? What does this area need? Let's see, mining pits. Okay, we get that. All right, this area here is still needs more people. All right, let's do, no, not granary. I'm in the wrong tab, Burgage. Oh, that's right, there's a market there. All right, that will do for now. To here. Uh, let's see. That's fine. Speed it back up. Uh, 
Okay, and construction. More burgage plots. There's a pretty big project for our builders. That'll take them a few minutes for sure. Still waiting on more people to move in down here. Um, can we afford the church down here? Yes, we can. Wall brand leveled up. It's good trapping for them as well. I, I really liked that. Just the passive food income. It's a good jump start. Your troops also retain experience. Do the... Uh, okay, so what you're saying, I think, is that uh, it would be better to disband the mercenaries now that I have the retinue and then just focus on the retinue. I'm up for trying it. I'm hoping the retinue don't consistently cost money the way mercs do. Alright. Uh, looking at supplies for each of the three towns. They are all okay for the winter. That's good. Muck Muck. Hi, Star! How you doing? Can you make knights now? Uh, the closest I can make to knights are the, um, the, the trained retinue that we were just looking at a second ago. Happy birthday. Thank you, Star. If anyone here is new, it's not my birthday. <laughs> he just wishes me happy birthday every day. <laughs> we still don't have so much barley that we have consistent brew at the tavern. That is still not a thing. those pop down here uh, does this little town have money yet tiny bit get the first egg income at the place down there Yeah, we could walk around in the snow. Lord Farquaad. That's supposed to be like your character running around and inspecting your lands. Okay, we got another family living here now, finally. Uh, let's get them in the forester's hut. Yeah, see, it's still saying I only have two oxes here. Which is probably not true. And it says there's none here, but we can clearly see one. So I have no idea how many animals I have in this town, because it's just lying to my face. Oh. 
Get a town, uh, get someone working in the mining pit. What was the other resource in this region? Oh, there's clay and rock. Let's see. What is it, uh, need for this? Mining. There we go. Clay pit. Salt pit still working? Yeah, we just... Still not making any money from selling planks at this town yet. It's taking a bit to, uh, pick up. Um... I don't, still don't know what putting a family in the church does, but we'll do that. More bandits to crush? Wait, is there more bandits? Oh, there's a tent way down there. Ah, I could send the retinue. The thing that scares me a little bit is my retinue, instead of being 70 archers, is just like right now it's 13 guys that are supposedly well trained. Can you upgrade their armor after? Oh yeah, okay. All right, well that was uh, all my money right now from taxes. All right. Wait, what? Why is this not working? Oh, I have to summon them, like, right by my... Wait, is it working? Oh, there we go, okay. Alright, have I saved recently? Just in case I'm about to kill my whole retinue. Let's save it. You get money for the camps, yeah. Alright, how's this one doing? Uh, eggs. Eggs until there's a stupid amount of eggs. Alright, and then we got this one. Still not really making money yet. There's another family. Alright, one of them can run the storehouse. Construction finished, firewood stall. Okay. Mm. You know what? I'm having trouble with the names of these places. So we're gonna go here. See, this is the north area. Northland. <laughs> and this is the center area. Hmm. Centerland. Oh, wait, wait, they're English. Centreland. <laughs> Midland. Oh, shoot, that's way better. <laughs> Too late. Oh, oh. Okay, we can assign a family to the clay pit. Uh, let's see. Stonecutter camp. Okay, there goes that. Uh, we're leaving winter now. Mugga chat, any opinions? I want a new class to run around with as uh, as while farming cryptid essence. Anything besides necro and warrior. 
Uh, I mean, I like I, I like Ranger from time to time. <laughs> you know, I really enjoyed uh, DPS Scrapper the other day. Don't know if you would like it, but I really liked it. More chickens. Okay, where's our boys? I don't know if there's any actual bandits here or just the camp itself. All right, yoink to the bandit camp. Can uh, disband camp, disband outside of home region. All right. Can I claim this? Well, it's winter. Uh, I mean, I could claim it, but just not start building immediately. Yeah, I've got the influence. Can I, how do you? 2,000 influence to claim an area that somebody else is already in. I mean, they're not building there, right? How does that work? Let's try it, see what happens. The gauntlet has been thrown. Oh god, what did I do? <laughs> Oh no! What did I do? Ninety days? Oh my gosh! I'm just gonna show up now and be like, "Yeah, I won." There's no one there. Who am I at war with? There's no one there. You guys are just being silly billies. The owner? There's no owner. Joiner's shop, brewery. Is the brewery still going? Just making sure we're not backed up at the malt house or something. No, it doesn't look like we are. Alright, this one has five family. Status losing. Both challengers must bring their armies to the battlefield. When time runs out and there's no challenge East troops present in the battlefield, the lord who initiated the challenge wins. Uh... <laughs> Slight giggle. I'm in danger. Oh, this place has a tiny bit of money now. Chickens. We gotta get a baseline... We, we gotta get an amount of eggs that they never go hungry again, and then we start building other things, chat. That's how it works. Uh, oh, gosh. What, if you're moving the camp... Whoa! Are y'all... Are y'all mean? <laughs> Chat, this is, this is not good. Um, where? Oh god, they're coming from all the way up there? What the hell? Oh man, it's like, it's lagging so weird. What is happening? Like, I'm trying to make minor adjustments to the camera and it's just like bouncing all over the place. Alright, I hope you guys are super soldiers because you're about to fight like 150 people. He wasn't ready for battle when he threw the gauntlet. It says there's 80 days remaining.
The battle begins. What the are you talking about? Dude, my guys are just like running circles here. What are you doing? And the game keeps slowing back down. I don't know why. Oh, my militia got here. Broken. My guys just gave up. All right, it's time to reload. Was this before I did that? I don't know when this was. Yeah, that was rough. So there's a bunch of weird little combat systems in place here. It's like one is like if their your guys get their willpower broken or whatever, they just give up. Uh, so there's not much you can do about that. Oh, this is before I sent them to deal with the outlaws. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Hey, look, it's the tree of birds. How are you today? Hey, bird tree. Uh, okay. So, let's see. This one... This is pre-chicken era. Pre-chicken coop. This is before we made the nice wall, also. Oh, wait, what? Okay, there we go. All right, this one, uh, do all these have something in there? Yes. Do we have an abundance of eggs? Yes. Yep. Let's see. Residential. Mole burgage. Yet. Still waiting on the exports to take off in this area. Okay, did this one get the uh, the iron mines going? Does this one have the clay mine going yet? Built it, haven't started it. Okay. And stone camp. And make a road leading to it. There we go. How's the game going tonight? Have you figured out how to stop thieves from stealing your supplies? Yeah, you kill them. <laughs> you you murder the thieves. Where's my retinue? There they are. Yeah, see, they're they're going for some. Oh wait, some new one spawned right next to him. Yo, some different RNG chat. This didn't happen last time. waiting on money. We can assign someone to that one now. Uh, let's see. Where's the burgage, 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 burgage. Burgage, burgage, burgage. Okay. I wonder if there's a way to delete roads that you don't like. Hey, I got my fort.
Okay. Da -da. Add family, add family, add family, add family. Okay. This one has a tiny bit of money now. Eggs. Alright, this one. I can set up a trade route for later. Let's see, military food. Export eggs until you're down to 100 eggs. It'll take a while before that kicks in, though. Alright. Uh, did they get those bandits? No, they're still working on it. Still working on it. Okay. Any more tents on the map? I don't think so. Alright, sending them back home. I'm wondering if I should claim this un this unclaimed area, because it's so far away. It'd be very hard to reinforce it if anything bad happened. You can make them run. Yeah. Right you are. Okay, this area, there is another family here now. I think all the essential stuff has... Peeps. Okay, and let's do mortgage. All right, there's more of those. Back up here. 18 families not doing anything. Okay. Can I... Let's see. People advanced. Limit work area. Wait, what? Oh, I was... I thought I could, like, drag the... Never mind. I thought I could, like, drag that around and, like, paint a work area, but it's just a circle. Okay, let's go back over here. Uh, every home comes with a free chicken coop. You lucky dogs. Stonecutter's camp needs a person. That going. Add a family to each of these. And disband those so they head home. So I think the retinue is full unless there's a way to increase it. It's 24 out of 24. Oh, you gotta pay to upgrade the armor for each individual person? Oh my. That takes some time. Alright, well half of them have nice armor now. Let's see, back over here, what does this area need? Uh, let's see, we've got a clay pit. They need to process that clay. You don't have a windmill? No, not that. Weaver workshop, tannery. I haven't done anything with sheep yet. 
I just realized. Uh, where's the clay place? It's like way down there. All right, there's the clay building. Grazing. No, like, like have a herd of sheep. I'm not trying to marry the things. Good lord. That's just the logging camp. Uh, I guess I can add a family to that. I got a bunch extra at the moment. Let's see. What was the... Hold on. Uh, farming... Fields. Show me flax fertility. Oh my god. Ugh. Wait, the land really does not like flax, does it? So, flax. And then this one will be fallow. And then flax the next year. I'll need a third one at some point. Okay, check on this town. They have none money right now. So let's add another fam to the saw pit. And another to the forester's hut, which should increase income. Um, same thing here. Since planks is their primary export. Look at the sinews on those legs! <laughs> <laughs> for the first second, like the look at the- I thought that was from the church. Cause that happened right when I clicked on the church. And then I- then it hit me like a second later. It's not met. Still not able to keep up with the tavern thing. Uh, okay. Field. Flax fertility. Alright, this at least is in, like, the yellow area. Alright, so this is flax, fallow, fallow. This is fallow, flax. Okay, so this one should be fallow twice, and then flax on the third one. It's not great, but we'll get flax, uh, some flax every year doing this. What do the colors mean? Uh, how fertile the ground is for that crop. The closer to green, the better. So it's like green, yellow, red, and this whole, like, flax doesn't really like any of this. It was all like yellow or red. So I was planting in yellow as best I could. All right, got lots of eggs. Um, resource stolen by bandits. Where are you at? Southland. Okay. Boys, you're needed. They're off to hunt bandits.
Farmers are doing work. We have reached 100 eggs. All right, so at this point, I'm going to stop making the egg buildings uh, over here. God, it was so game-changing when you told me about that feature. All right, make more homes there. There is stamina. Yeah. But... They're fine. Like, I don't even see any actual bandits. It's just, like, the empty tents, so... Okay, this place has money now. Hello. Suddenly, cash. Alright, this one... Wait. No, this is wrong. It's showing... <laughs> it's showing me the wrong thing. It's showing me the information for that city. Yeah, okay. One gold? Yeah, that's more like it. Yeah, this place does not have money. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Uh, Alright, where's the trading post? You're exporting, right? Yeah, it is exporting. What can you have besides chickens? Uh, if you, each house, if you make a large plot for it, you can have any of these things. A vegetable garden, a chicken coop, a goat shed, The go and they basically kill the goats, I guess, because they give hides. Uh, apple orchard, a, uh, a, or you can make the home also a shop, like it, they become a profession. So bakery, blacksmith, brewery, joiner, cobbler, tailor, armor, or boyer. 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 I can't talk. Exposed stocks are getting soaked. Oh, uh, all right. Upgrade that storehouse. People require fuel in a burgage plot to live in, or they might freeze to death. Yeah, what? All three areas are fine. Uh, how many apples do you have? Can you make p pies and cider? Uh, it actually requires an upgrade to be able to do the apples. So I haven't tested that at all yet. Um, it's like a... Where was it? Right here. Orchardry. It unlocks apple orchards. So you, you gotta have that, and I haven't tried that yet. Sorry? No, you're you're fine. The qu questions are welcome. I, I don't know everything about this game, but I can tell you what I've learned so far. Uh, I'm happy to tell you what I know. Uh, I just haven't been able to try that one yet. This is neat. Yeah, you can also, like, go down with the townspeople and, like, look at what you've done, made so far. This is pretty sweet. So, like, they actually made the details on the units this detailed. This is very impressive. There's the whole line of chicken coops. Okay, um... Wait, didn't I rename this place? Northland. Maybe that was after I, re I like, uh, and then I reloaded or something. Waldbrand. Midland. Alright, uh... Chicken coop. Can you do that view while in battle? I know you could zoom way in while in battle. I don't know if you can be like a first person or th third person while in that. All right. Add living space to these. Let's 
This place does not have enough money for more of that yet. You figured out third person thing? Yeah, it's this I button up here. It says very early in development. Expect glitches. Oh, let's check on the guys that were hunting bandits. I haven't looked in on them in a while. Looks like they got some rest. Their stamina bar is fine now. Alright, so the camp was undefended. I took their spoils. Is there any other camps on the map right now? I don't think so. Alright, send them back up there. Yeah, this is the only place not claimed. Uh, you know what? Hold on. Let me make a save, and then I'll try to claim the unclaimed area and see if anyone stops me. Does each town have the upgrades you do? No, they don't. They, they're each independent. There is supposedly a way to trade between them, but I haven't been able to figure out how to do that yet. But that also means you could build them independently. Like, you could have one town specialize in farming and another in hunting or something. going. Uh, we got a little bit of money here. And this is the area. Oh, region claimed. I got it. Alright. Uh, however, it's about to be winter. So, I don't really... I don't really want to... Uh start building a town down there until like the winter's ending you can get the sheep from pastures and the sheep farm building i don't know if it's upgrade yeah if you need like wool or something northland upgrade oh uh these guys just made it home uh disband units okay so on that note let's go to the retinue. Okay, our entire retinue has the fancy armor now. Alright, did these all finish getting expanded? Uh, almost. There's one left. Alright, this area is fine on eggs. Okay. We could do... Vegetable garden, or goats. Let's get goats so they can start uh, getting passive hides. Still think that's kind of questionable how that works, but okie dokie. And we should get a farm going over here. Let's see, construction, uh, farming, farmhouse. Oh, look at that green area there. That's nice. All right, let's see what we got. Fields. Barley, flax, rye. Uh, we'll do what we can. Let's 
So that's 1.3 Morgans. Oh wait, there's like there's like a road there that's in the way. Uh, that kind of messes things up. Key. Ah. Game auto saved went weird on me. Okay, so I got three fields there now. So now, we got to make it do wheat, then barley, then fallow. And this one, wheat, then barley with fallow at the top. And this one will be wheat, then barley, then fallow. Okay, so there's all that. This, order another ox. Uh, they do not have the advanced plowing. Um, okay, hold on, gotta think about all this. What all are they gonna need to process this stuff that I built at the other place? They're gonna need a windmill for grain. They're going to need a communal oven to turn flour into bread. Uh, what was the stuff related to the brew? There's the tavern. Malt house was one. Remember to assign an ox to the farm? It doesn't matter if you don't have the plowing thing, I don't think. Does it? In any case, I just bought the ox. It'll take a while to be here. Oh, and then I had to get a house to have the brew thing. Burgage plot level too low. Uh, what do I need to level it up? Clothing stall supply. Clothing stall supply? How did I do that last time? I think I maybe used hides from the animals. Turn hides into leather, tannery. That's probably in. I probably use that. Um. Where's the end? Okay, there's where the hides are coming from. So I'll add that to the queue. All right, what's going on down here? Three hundred dollar reduce. All right, good. Uh, we're still not at critical eggs yet. The thing I like about the chickens is they give eggs year round. The little vegetable guards and stuff are just, like, when it's in season. Infinite eggs. All right, residential. More burgage. Three large plots. Okay, looking up here. seem to be going good so far. Uh, you can't do that, yes. These are all goats, right? Yeah, they've all got goats in their backyard. You may live here, but you have to take a goat. Okay. Alright, windmill, communal oven. Most of these people won't have to do anything for a while, but... Farmhouse... Dude, I have so many families living here. Oh my god. Definitely better at setting that. Like, this city, I got. So, I did so much of a better job getting it set up than my first one. We learned a lot. 
Like get, getting that crazy egg income early on is both like food and money. That really helped. All right, tannery. What about craftsmen? We're getting there. We're getting there. Anything still missing? I'm sure there is. It's kind of hard to tell in winter when everything's snowy because everything just looks the same. Uh, add a plowing station. Okay, yeah, yeah, we can't add an ox to this until you get a plowing station. Can they make their own stuff? Working on that. Let's see. Burgage plots. Do that. Level two housing, yeah. Okay, this. All right, so this is the place we haven't done anything yet. We just unlocked this area. Oh, that is a misclick. So this is town four. Uh. All right, so little thing. Woo, Newslohi, no. You are Southwesterland. <laughs> so I can remember where you are. <laughs> All right, what else do we got here? Oh my God, the food is so far away. That is lame. All right, let's see. So, hunting camp and berry camp. Gotta get the essentials going. And then, where's the camera fixated? Like here. Wait, where's the. Oh, there they are. Um. Hmm, wood next. Yep, absolutely. So, we need logging and woodcutter's lodge. Saw pits, foresters' huts. All right, get those going. All right, uh, this area. How are we doing here? What do they still need? Clothing stall supply again. All right, so I think this area needs the tannery also. Uh, where was that? Just put that right there. All right, back at home area. They should be working on the new fields. Nice. The main issue is they just want to be drunk. <laughs> they, they just want to be drunk all the time. And I'm having trouble making enough barley to make that possible. All right, they are starting on the fields now uh, at this, uh, at Northland. Didn't I make more buildings up here? Oh yeah, over here. All right, out of family, out of family, out of family. Those are going. All right. Uh... Where are... Yeah, these guys have to travel a stupid distance. All right, put a family in the hunting camp. Hey, where are the peg? All right, put a family in the foragers camp. Uh, forgot about... Hang on, can I do that here? Where's the foragers camp at each of these? This one's down here. At Herb Garden. And do that at Northland also. I forgot about the herb garden upgrade. There we go. Herbs for everyone. Every day. Gotta get these to level two. Oh, wait, we can get some to level 2 now. What? Wait, just this one, specifically. 
Okay, for a moment, all of those things are fulfilled. I guess the tannery did that. Okay, that's also going to level this place up. Alright, looking down at this place... Uh, we got people at the Forger Hut, right? Yeah. Well, I'm kind of worried about that long run they're going to have to do, but... It is what it is, Yugi. It be what it be, Yugi. Alright, add fams. Yeah, when I first started this game, I did not realize that you could build, like, just chicken coops in people's backyards. And I was like, oh my god, they need food, I gotta go hunt, I gotta go, you know, make fields and stuff. And then when I realized that the f homes could basically be self-sufficient if you made enough homes with chicken coops, I was like, oh, wait, this changes everything. Uh, upgrade the storage, it is full. That one is also full. Let's see, going back this way. Our storehouse. Okay, so we got a few level two burgage. Oh, they're still under construction, I guess. Okay, so I gotta wait on that to finish constructing. Um, uh, got clay and did I do clay and come here? Mining pit. Yeah. Did I make the building to process the clay? I don't th know if I built it here. Which is, what is that? The clay furnace. Very glad I didn't do this in winter. This is taking Thank forever. You. They have to move so far. Who's using the auger? I need to drill holes for the pipe. New development point. Where? Oh. Wait, what? Oh, I guess I can't do that. Northland. What do we want here? Advanced skinning. Doubles the amount of meat harvested by hunters and butchers from goat pens. Hunters also collect hides from traps. Beekeeping gives honey. Orchardry. Sheep breeding. Hmm. Charcoal burning, convert firewood to charcoal, making refueling more efficient. Plow. You think I should go plow again? All right. Upgrade plowing station at the Northland Farms. Upgrade some of these homes. Okay, we're completely out of lumber for this area. Alright, look down here. Alright, logging camp. Uh, woodcutter. Saw pit. Wait, I'm getting confused. Hold on. Which one is woodcutter? Which one is saw pit? Saw pit makes planks. Okay, I don't need planks here yet. Alright, cancel that one. All right, construction. Uh, all right, so this area needs residential next. Okay, well, okay, we can't do anything, I guess, because it uh, has freaking zero wood. We, we gotta wait on the logging. Actually, let's, uh, let's have double families do that for now. The more efficient you get the farms, the less you have to worry about. Uh, true.
Uh, this area is nearly at exceptional levels. Not quite there. Alright, trading post. Trade. Food. Berries, berries. Export eggs. Until we're down to... 100 eggs. Alright, so we're, we're getting there. The third town is getting there. This one, it's still all about the alcohol up here. I could start paying to import alcohol, but it would be gone so fast. It would go away so quickly. Wait, where's the option to assign a li- oh, here it is. There we go. Alright, I assigned a livestock to the farmhouse. They should use it a lot now. Forest Town still needs water. Oh my god! You're right. <laughs> oopsie doopsie. Just a little oopsie doops. No big deal. Enemy unit sighted? Oh my. Okay, getting homes going at Southwesterland. All right, where are these enemies at? Okay, let's summon the retinue. That's a lot of people. I think they're bandits though. You know what? I'm gonna get my archers to back these guys up. How are you already out of stamina? Yes, sire. Oh my gosh. Run. Probably should have just gotten everybody, honestly. Running? I didn't tell them to run, though. I just got them out of the thing. Bringing everyone. The other people are on their way. Right, they're still forming. Taking uh taking a little bit. Okay. All right, we got it. All right, uh, disband, disband, disband. And I think we need to reassign someone to the corpse pit because there are bodies in our lands now. Uh, 24 out of 24. I don't think we lost anyone in the retinue. They were getting wailed on by uh, much larger numbers, so I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, how are we doing down here? Still need clothing stall supply. Did I make the tannery? I did make it. I need to assign someone to it. That is now done. Um, let's make the mining pit. And do this. Get that going. All right, this area. Upgrading anything I can to level two. Uh, 
Um, this place has got plenty of eggs, right? Yeah, they do. Um... Okay, so here's a brewery. So this home, this home is going to be a brewery in a second. The great battle of our time, the battle of those fields over there. <laughs> uh... Let's try making a bunch of goat things. I want to see if we end up with an insane, uh, like, okay. There was a, a talent thing that said it increased the yield of meat from the goat shed. The goat shed doesn't say it gives meat. It just says it gives f hides. So I was like, wait a minute. Doubles the amount of meat harvested by hunters and butchers from goat pens. So, that's pretty cool. So this place is level 3 now. Don't need charcoal burning. I, I really have no desire for that because it's like, not a big deal. Wait, what is deep mining? Enables the building to extract resources indefinitely if placed over a rich deposit. Oh wow. Oh wow, that's really nice. Two times zero is still zero. Thanks. Uh, unlocks rye for fields. Similar to wheat, rye can be processed into flour, but it's more resilient and it can therefore be grown in places with lower fertility. Hmm. This is Northland. Let's try to get to deep mining. So I guess I will get the charcoal thing. Not that I really need it, but just to try to get to deep mining. Uh, checking every city. Okay, yeah, everyone has enough to live. Okay. Okay, making more room in these homes to get all the homeless out of the rain. Alright, Midland. Uh, we can actually level up a lot of the homes to level 2, which means they start getting uh, tax income. That's going to keep that busy for a while. Also, we made the mining pit, so we can place a person there. Back over here. One thing I don't know is, do I get a... We, we, I voiced this earlier. Do I get a manor for each area? After building your very first manor, the starting retinue will join you in your palace for free. I'm not sure if I get a manor for each area or just one manor total. Yeah, like, the, the button's there, which makes me think I can get one for each area. Okay, iron deposits. On base, field's looking good. We got a lot of bread, so that's good. Um, what is going on here? Do I have a bunch of malt or anything? I swear, I do not know. I, I, I guess they're just consuming it like crazy fast. Like when I get the um, when I fight, when I get the barley, it just like vanishes so fast. I wouldn't say your first man if it was your only, right. That was the first flax field. New game RTS or simulator? Uh, cl it's a bit of both, but I'd say closer to sim.
Lots of upgrades happening over there. Phantom, thank you for the prime sub, dude. Really appreciate using that here. Welcome. And now we're in, and he's already making a suburb. <laughs> okay, this one. Let's see, we need um, trade over here. Northland stocks damage. Forager's hut. Uh. Oh, uh, they need a market down here. Um, uh, still building the iron mining pits. Stocks damaged by weather granary. Upgrade to large granary. Generic storage full stone cutters camp. Uh, we got a storehouse, right? Yeah. Okay. Pantry's full. Okay. That's still getting built. Large storehouse. Uh, needs stone to make a large granary, apparently. Let's see, mining. Stone cutters camp. Okay. Uh, I don't even know if I made a large granary at my starting area. No, I didn't. What's the yellow road icon mean in Midland? Uh, hold on. This is Midland. Yellow road? Disconnected from major trade routes. Connect the building to the King's Road. Otherwise, it won't attract traveling merchants. Huh? Where's the King's Road? Is that it? Is that all it needed? That little thing? Oh my gosh. I guess we'll find out. Yep, the error just went away. cheap for this one, just to do something different. Alright, how do we set that up? Uh, let's see. Industry... No, that's gonna be under farming. Pasture. Provides a pasture space for livestock. Uh, how do I get the sheep? Sheep farm. Let's try that. Pet chip and wizard Dennis. Well, do you want me to point the camera at him, or do you want me to turn it off and put up the PDF? Or PG PNG, the PDF. Well, wrong thing. Ah. He spun the chair around at some point. I don't know when that happened. Did he say Cyclops? Did it hurt your feelings? Oh, hey there, beauty. Okay. Cat has been bothered. All right. And then the other thing. Okay, going up here. 
Uh, did they finish the granary? Yes, they did. Okay. Going over here. Let's see. They are getting from the mining pit. We do have the clay furnace. It needs fueling, I just realized. That's going. Uh, marketplace is up. Trading post is up. We still need more families to move in here or this before this place can start taking off. That's good. Build more of those. More houses. Uh, let's see. This is going to be the sheep place. It's still going. That's still going. Exposed stocks are getting soaked. Forager's hut. Where is this? Um, we've got the... Uh, yeah, we, we've got the storage for you to put those away. That's a you problem. Or maybe it won't store in the granary until... Hold on, it says pantry's full. Is granary and pantry the same thing? Or are those different? Oh gosh, wrong things. Granary, storehouse, pack station. Pack station, use this building to set up. Wait, use this building to set up a barter connection, allowing you to send and receive goods between this and another region in your command. Oh my God, what? The hell? Okay, we just found that. God, I can't see the roads. Okay, so hold on a second. We need one of these in every region, I think. Are there any bandits? Don't think so. I think we're good in that regard. Midland has leveled up. Okay. What did I get here? Midland, I got the sheep thing. Good beekeeping. Free honey. Free resources, basically. What is taking so long for these people to build? Okay, well, they're building those. Like, I've been waiting on this thing up here to build for ages. What's going on there? All right, a sign, a sign. Southwesterland leveled up. Uh, what do we want here? No logs? Maybe it's a no logs issue. I'm not sure what I want here. Still waiting on more families to move in here. Or still have the starting amount of families in this location. Pantry is full, Burgage plot level one. Pantry? Oh, it probably is full of eggs. <laughs> the house the house is like, what do we do with all these eggs? Hey, 
Uh, let's up the priority on finishing. They got this granary almost done and then just stopped for a long time. You know what I, w I worry it might be? Hold on, is it the ox? Might be a like, limited amount of ox. It's so difficult to tell how many oxes we actually have. Okay, no, the, okay, the counter's going up. Because, like, the, the, the biggest bug I have seen in this game so far is the small stables give completely wrong information. Like, you can have a dead, like, one dead ox in the street and two live oxes, and it'll say you only have a dead ox. Uh, are you on fire? <laughs> what? Well, that was a lot of smoke. That's a lot of smoke. <laughs> Everyone is just like spam redeeming him. He's pink. Still no new families here. Sheep farm. All right, out of person here. How do I get sheep? Mm. Goods are getting soaked. We got a granary. You're gonna have to deal with that. Um, hold on. Where were we? We were here. Okay. We gotta figure out how to get sheep yet. We got the pasture. We got the sheep farm. Pack station? No. Hitching post? Don't think that's it either. Wooden church, marsh parent, marketplace, well. Well, well, well. Pasture, sheep farm, communal, farmhouse, field. Shepherds? Did you see something called shepherds? Or is that just a, a guess? Livestock trading post. I bet this is it. I bet I have to buy them from another region or something. Yes. Food stall supply. Food stall and fire was off. Ooh, wait, we do have people. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We got the forager's hut. Yeah, it's got berries. Okay. And we got the hunters. Alright, yeah. They, they are hunting. They are both hunting. Hunting and gathering. Do have 292 hides from these goats. I don't know if they're giving meat or not. By God, we got hides. Upgrading a whole bunch of level one mortgages to level two. This town is still waiting on more people to join them. All right, livestock trading post. How do we do this? Trade. I want some sheep. Import sheep. Give me four sheep. Now we got the Midland. We got the thing where the sheep will multiply. Because apparently they don't know how to giggity until we uh, you know, show them a diagram. 
But with that, we I think we won't have to buy more sheep unless you know they get attacked or something. How does this work? Road access obstructed. It like snaps to the wall. Yeah, I know, but he kept saying road access was blocked. So I wasn't really sure what was going on there. Because it snapped to the wall, but it said it wanted to snap to the road. That's why I was like, what? Uh, let's see. This place is doing just fine. Is this the one that I started getting a bunch of goats? Yeah, this is the one I got a bunch of goats. All right, uh, let's see. Burgage plots. Nope, that is too much. Nope. Uh, hmm. We can do that. Okay. Still one of four. Did I build the thing to trade with them? Is that a trading post? That's a normal trading post. Logging camp, woodcutter, salt hill, a pack station. Uh, barter partner. The lab receive. Can we just receive money? <laughs> receive people? Wow, you gotta really set it up, don't you? So you can request, like, specific items. It looks like. We got sheep yet? Also, it looks like when we get the sheep, they're gonna go here. I'm one. I'm curious how we move them over there. Maybe that will become easier to see once we get there. Mike, I got big numbers and raids thanks to you. Big numbers and raids. Oh, oh, nice! Congratulations. Took me a second to process what you were saying. Goldfish brain. That's awesome. A lot of people standing around. <laughs> Being weird about it. Construction complete. Uh, it's still going. Requirements not met. They're booing me. Let's see. Timber. Still waiting on more timber. Lambs probably aren't born until string. Well, we're importing them. Still 1-4. What is happening here? Why is it so dumb here? This is the same way I would always start it. I'll have the last family start working in the saw pit to make planks, and maybe maybe they want the church. No, because I know I built. Uh, I know I had some people join uh, one of the other towns before I had the church. So I don't know what's going on. Oh, this thing finally finished. All right, we can get someone stone cutting and working in the mining pit now.
Uh... Wait. Oh, we have sheep! Look! We have sheep! Nice. Alright, so the sheep import worked. Not sure if they're gonna, like, shear them and stuff automatically, or how that works. I know they won't shear in winter. It did say that on one of the earlier tutorials. Because they, they need to keep warm in winter. Can't be messing with that. New mercenaries available. It's not met. Two types of food supplied in the marketplace. We got bread and eggs. What are you talking about? Food variety, 98%. They got bread, eggs, vegetables, honey, berries. Maybe it's just because this house is so far away. By the time they get there, they're sold out. <laughs> Like, they're just at the back of the line for lunch every single day. Coming soon. Soon. My snow's starting to melt. Let's see, add a family to each of these. Upgrade some of these burgages to level two. This one is still not getting people. We're entering spring. I wonder if that's gonna have any impact on it. doing on like planks and stuff it's going I actually still do I do not know the exact requirements to get more people in do they have storage no I don't think this one does not that they could do much with it, because I don't have a, someone to, like, man the storage. Uh, let's take that guy out. <laughs> we have to stop doing something to do construction. Sheeps. Oh, yo, there's already a fifth sheep. They are multiplying fast. Yep, uh, we are getting wool. So I guess that's automatic. Okay. Neat. Alright, what is this area waiting on? It's three more level three burgages. Which is... What just happened? The camera just pulled really hard. Which needs tavern. It's always the tavern. Uh, all this barley is not enough. These people need more, chat. They need more. Hmm. Something is weird with Southwesterland. It's still just the original five people living here. Nobody else. Wait, it, it, do they not? Are they connected to the edge of the map or anything? 
yeah, they're connected down there. Hmm. Hmm. I believe it has to do with approval to, to attract folks. Homelessness minus... What do you mean homelessness? Everybody has a home. At least one type of food in the marketplace. Firewood stall. There's only berries here. Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, yeah, I guess the meat's just getting eaten really fast. We've got the hunting camp. Uh, there is only the, the original starting 50 coins that this place started with, but I'm going to use half of that to get uh, chickens. Maybe a few eggs will jumpstart this. Passive meat income. Because that doesn't require any additional workers. Most social things this game is more eggs, maybe. It's worked for a lot of problems. Imagine, like, a bunch of raiders coming in and we're like, can we interest you in eggs in this trying time? We just, like, start throwing eggs by the hundreds of them. <laughs> we're like, what? Not really sure what else to do. Like, over here, it's... It's just the tavern. It's, it's just tavern problems. Wait, I, maybe they can handle another field? Like... They're handling all these so far, just as one farm. That's barley, so maybe we're just, maybe because it's red, we're just not getting much. Oh wow, it grows way better over there. Hmm. Let me highlight it, but then it doesn't let me do it. a few more for them to juggle. What do you think of this one so far? I'm having fun. Uh, there's a few bugs, but it warns you right when you open it up, but it's like warning this isn't beta. Yeah, you know, this is the seven years of work, but there's still more to do. 
So you will encounter bugs, and I have seen some. Um, so there's also the tutorial is very vague at present. So, you know, trying to figure things out. And so far we have figured a lot of things out, but there's still some things we haven't figured out. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, let's go down to this one. Still only five families here. I, I do not know. I do not know what is missing here. Got roads. They don't need a farm to get started. Stone cutter, mining pits, granary, storehouse. We have those. We don't have enough people to man them. We've got burgages. They have a well. They have a marketplace. Tavern and church are not needed. You finally got greater than 50% approval. Okay. Farming. I mean, there's no way I could run a farm because, like, it's like you, you uh, run the far the farm, and then you gotta you run the windmill to process it, and then you gotta like bake the grain and all that stuff. It's like, oh, a new one just came here, literally just got here. Fifty two percent approval rating. Maybe that did it. I don't know. A new one just got here. Okay. All right. One of you go into the saw pit. Start making planks. We need them exports. Holy crap. Dude, I was sitting here rocking my brain like, what did I do wrong? Oh my gosh. We're getting more sheep per sheep, champ. It's free real estate. Look at that. They've already plowed these fields. Exceptional. Exceptional. Approval just jumped from 53 to 80. Yeah, because all the people that have been there doing 20 jobs just realized that the boss finally hired another employee. And they're like, thank God. So yeah, of course the approval just jumped. Actually, it didn't. I think you saw the approval jump because I changed to look at a different city. Never mind. <laughs> My whole metaphor is out the window. Lab is 67. What? 71 now. Lack of entertainment. Uh, the tavern. They want to get drunk. I'm trying! I have so many fields! You jerks, you lushes. Maybe I need to get another... I don't even know if it's going to make a difference. Uh, make another brewery? Is one brewery enough? You can hire minstrels and jugglers and hold a fair. <laughs> if you can, I've not found the button for that. All right, did I make all these level two? Thing, oh, nearly. That one can't, that one can. All right, got a few more leveled up. I don't actually know what the families do there if I had more to it. Woodcutter is just firewood. Uh, we got 29 unemployed families. We can add another woodcutter. Add another logging camp. Tannery's good. This is good, that's good, that's good. Clay Furnace has no employees. Let's add one. Okay, we got another family moved in down here. Uh, put them in the forest station. Okay. Got to move from microbrewery to Budweiser. <laughs> Maybe. Let's do, let's see, residential, burgage. Let's try to make a, a big one. 
There we go. This will be a big brewery. Once it's done. Deforestation killed berry bushes. What? Uh, that's not good. That's a source of... I mean, I guess we got eggs. Where was it? It wasn't there. It wasn't there. It wasn't there. Which one got killed? Was it this one? Is there a way to tell... Hold on. I had no idea that was a thing. Limit work area... Here. Alright, let's see... Can I regrow those? Alright, I'm gonna tell them to go here. I, we'll see if that works. I just told the Foresters Hub to focus on this spot. And uh, maybe they can hashtag save the trees. It'll be cool if we're able to fix that by doing that. How's this going? It is making flour. You making bread? Not at the moment. Malt house is doing its thing. Okay, so... This place needs a tower. What was the building that turns the malt house... The malt into ale? Oh, wait, it was a, a, free, a brewery. Like, from a, a house. Did I make one here? I don't know if I did. Yes. Oh, there. There. I found it. Yep. Uh, since I don't have a tavern, does the ale just go into storage? Yeah, there's 20 ale in storage. There's 20 ale in storage. Okay. So we can make a tavern for this area. Do 20? That's going to disappear so fast. And just set up a tavern right next to these wild animals. Just start partying. This needs chat votes. <laughs> it is, I mean, it's pretty peaceful right now. Y'all would certainly change that for sure. Alright, another thing in the saw pit. Okay, trading posts. Let's get the income set up for this place. Trade. Planks. Export until we're down to 50. All right, that should start bringing in money. Fuzzy camera right now. It's just my beard. Fixed now. Yep. Hmm. Trying to rest for the wicked tomorrow. I am interested in that, yes. Yeah, if I can get a key for that. I, I, I say I'll probably buy it if I can't get a free key. But yeah, it uh, it looks intriguing. Upgrade that. season all those plots getting worked I gotta say I don't mind rotating the crops when you can set up like an automatic system like this like in Stardew Valley when you had to do it all by hand I was like mm, you know that was like very intimidating what the heck? didn't you finish that one? Oh, there he goes I was like I'm pretty sure you finished that field guy Alright, this one is the one that's going to be another brewery. Alright, have someone work the tavern. We got another fam over here. Let's 
let's see, greenery. So it looks like they will store things in the storehouse even with no one there. So the question is, what does adding someone to that building do? Perhaps they go and fetch the stuff, you know, like logistics? I'm not sure. That would be my guess, though. Stonecutter's Pit. Let's look at that world map again. So the red is us, and the yellow is someone that will start a war with me if I attack them. That's the current state of things. Now I've got my retinue. I could make more militias. Could hire mercenaries and just hold on to them to, and just like try to stock up on mercenaries. I'm gonna do that. I can totally afford that. Uh oh, dude, I got scared. I just saw that and I was like, oh wait, that's the guys I just hired. <laughs> like, oh god. Oh, it's fine. Oh no, I did not mean to tell you to move across the world. It's fine, dudes. You don't have to do that. Uh, it's a is there a pop cap in this game? I'm not sure because you know the more your population, the more your food needs are. So I'm purposefully like I'm not just building houses when I don't need them because that's more mouths to feed. Okay, we can get another one in the storehouse. We can upgrade the storehouse. Sheep. Since the sheep multiply, I'm assuming that, that that group is going to keep getting larger and larger until we've hit critical sheep mass. I love how every town, except the newest one, has just hundreds of eggs as backup. <laughs> so many backup eggs. Wait, is this... Wait, does Southwest Island really have this much money? Doing some variety here, chat. I'll do variety on this one. Chickens, goats, and carrots. Uh, let's see. Where's the church at? Oh, actually, I can't do this because I don't have anyone working the stone mine yet. And we just got a new family, so they're going to be stone cutters. Okay. Don't trust goats, they slingshot off of cars with their tongues. What? What? <laughs> you made me read that with my own mind? Production focus. Yo, I don't know if he's ever been able to make any of this stuff. Lemon? I don't know if I've had lemon. Stocks damaged by weather. Oh, the storehouse is completely full. It's probably overflowing. Uh, yeah, wow, we have a lot of stuff here. Is the... Our source of clay, is it infinite? It doesn't look infinite. Well, no, it's a rich deposit, though. If we get that deeper digging thing, it'll become infinite.
Let's see, this one's 73%. What is this? this is Northland? Southwesterland is 63% right now. Another new family moved in. Logging camp. Greenery. Okay, we got stone cutters here now. So we should be able to make the church. If I can get a spot for it to snap. All right, there's the church. What does a brewery do? Uh, so, well, it, it makes alcohol, but basically the it takes ingredients that you get uh, that are processed from the fields and turns it into ale, and then that makes the people happy. The problem is they consume it and then it's gone and you need more and they consume it at a crazy rate. Nothing but churches and bars you're building in the south. <laughs> like I'm from I'm from the south. I'm building what I know. It's basically liquor store, gun store, and then like d divorce office. <laughs> Just a whole line of those. Let's do... Alright, so we still got crazy food here, right? 370x. Uh... Let's build some more burgages there. And farms are getting started. Buck doesn't go to any of the three. Nope. Happily married. Sober, except Coca-Cola. <laughs> what was the other one I said? Gun store? No comment. We just got two more families at Southwesterland. Oh, we... Okay, so one of them worked the church. It isn't the south unless there's two Chick-fil-A per town. Two per town? I mean, the chick fil A's all over. I don't know about per town. Ah. Good night, have fun. Good night, Maestro. Checking for bandits on the map, don't see any. All right, can I get any more mercs? No, not at the moment. I wonder if you only have one at a time. Can I make more militia with what I have right now? It says I can. Okay, so I've got all this right now. So, what was the win condition again for what the, the game mode that we chose? Hang on. I'm gonna go to the main menu a second. If I do new game. Conquer every region. Okay, so if I can conquer every region, we win around to this. It's so weird that the most recent save is not at the top. Domination campaign, yeah. So I got four regions before they were all gobbled up. Now there's four more. Um, I wonder, if the guy who makes this game, I wonder if his plan is that you'll see the enemies building also. I think that would be cool. Because right now it just looks like empty land, and then the enemy comes in from off of the map and then fights you. You know? Uh, we are out of logs. Uh, oh. Okay, I know why we're out of logs. So I was telling it to focus on harvesting, like, over here, right? 
Um... Well, one, we successfully got the berry thing going again. Okay. Uh, demolish that. Where's the logging camp? We're gonna have to move this a bit. Do that. And then where is the... Does Sawpit pull from the nearby trees? I'm not sure. Forester's hut? So I need, uh, what, you know what, just to be safe. Hold on, saw, the saw pit? Okay, saw pit uses logs. It doesn't chop down nearby stuff, though. Uh, what's the other one that does? Saw pit turns timber into planks. Woodcutter's Lodge. I need to make sure the Woodcutter's Lodge is not near the berries or it'll mess it up again. There. I like that it refunds you the materials when you move stuff. That's kind. Not all games do that. Okay, we got an extra fam over here. Wait, is the stones already gone? Oh my god, dude, the, the stone stuff here vanished so fast. Wow. Uh, let's see, mining, iron, and connect this to the road. I kinda want it to have a curve to it. There we go. Okay. Mm, they put out a roadmap for that first, and we'll do something looking forward to that. Uh, make sure you destroy the trees near the animal hunting ground. Fishing combat multiplayer. Oh god, it's an MMO. Wait, what's an MMO? What are we talking about? No rest for the wicked. You know, you know what's another game that had fishing that was just kind of weird that it was thrown in? Torchlight 2. It was just like literally one pond in town, and you could fish, and then you could feed the fish to your pet, which would give it like a super buffs for a time period. Like, transform your pet into a mimic, which was crazy powerful for a while, stuff like that. We got enough people. I'm gonna make a second forester over here. Oh, we don't have enough mats. I guess we need to get the logging camp running. You can fish in Manor Lords where? I haven't seen a single lake or river. Uh, I know there's underwater rivers, because, like, when you build a well, it shows you. But, yeah, I haven't seen that either. Maybe he means they're adding it. Wild animals have migrated. Oh, God, for which area? I guess it was this one. Ah, no! I didn't mean to do that. Dang it. Camera's going crazy. Uh, 
Okay, and the other thing, if I can afford it now, was that other forester that we wanted. We were talking about no rest of the wicked when we said fishing, not mana lords. Oh, there you go. It says we're going down, but it's 74%. Let's see, what month is it right now? It's June at the moment. Okay, we got two foresters' huts pumping out trees, and we got the logging camp here. The berry area should be safe. Let's see, that's the north one. Tithe paid goods given. <laughs> Let's see, what else can we do here? There's clay miles away. Build that for now. Stocks damaged by weather. Uh, make a large granary. Alright, I think what I'd like to do, we got about 20 minutes left here, is save a game and then try to do something aggressive and see what happens. Let's click on this area and hit claim. I don't know what claim with king's favor is. That might not be in the game yet. So we've got... There we go. The gauntlet has been thrown. Found our Chenu. Enemies declared. Hilda Bolt Vaughn, Baronut, and Muck Vaughn Luck. <laughs> uh, show the battlefield location. I mean, are they going to actually come here? Oh, here they come. They're coming right now. Okay, so, hold on. Send everyone? Oh, yes. New message. I can make it worthwhile if you drop all your claims. Signed and sealed by my own sealed, Hildevald von Baronut. Right back. Uh, <laughs> you're Hildebolt? <laughs> you have no rightful claim to sell bits in Hofstetten. My claims are non-negotiable. It'd be really weird to add that to it. <laughs> Does that even do anything, or is it just like talking crap? <laughs> Where's the battle? Right there. Run! Move quickly. How do I tell them to not run? Just, just, just walk there. You're burning all your stamina. Alright, so we got this guy and this guy. Wait, what? I'm right-clicking here. They're moving so far. Oh god, these guys aren't here yet. Formation time. Saving finish, yeah, good idea.
So those, these are all archers. <laughs> Just pouring so many arrows into the enemy. So every time it says broken and one of the enemies surrender, Dude, look at the detail. Every time it says broken and one of the enemies gives up, it slows the game back down, and I'm periodically speeding it back up. I'm just trying to focus fire here. I'm hearing sound effects for the bows. I don't think there's actually any graphic for it. I'm not seeing any. Man, we, you, you guys better hope your archer buddies are really good because they're just firing into this mess with so many friendlies. Wait, 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 wait. Oh! What the hell happened here? We're getting flanked. Hi! Okay, they just broke. It was an enemy group of archers hiding in the trees. Mug zoomed in too much? Mm-hmm. I was, uh, looking at those graphics. Remember that Super Adventure Box commercial? Like, oh, the graphics! Oh, wait. I just saw arrows. There were, in fact, graphics for them. Look. Oh, that's good. So this is the enemy- the reason these soldiers are living so long is these are the enemy retinue. Like my super soldiers. Are y'all helping? I can't tell. Wait, what? Did they- is this the same people that ran earlier? Did they regroup? Okay, I guess it's my land now. Interesting. Um, did I lose anybody? Is I don't know if I did. All right, disband unit. Okay. Now, do I have to do a battle like that for every region? Let me see. If I go to... Retinue. Oh, the Merc squad. That's kind of funny. The one squad that got taken out first when they flanked me was the, uh... The... Mercenaries. The ones that charge me constantly. Oh my god, how do I go? Okay, hitting escape doesn't close that menu. That's why I kept doing that. So, can I hire another Merc? Not at the moment. There's none available right now. So this is the new region. Uh, is it already connected? Yeah, pretty much. Can you increase your retinue population? I already did. It looks like it caps at 24. Okay. I want to see... I'm going to make another save file. I'm not ready for another fight right now. This is just to see what would happen. Press claim on this thing. Triggers another battle. Um... Okay. All right. 
Not ready for another battle right now. I do like the fights, but they're, at least at present, there's a lot of uh, break time in between those fights. Um, what was the... Uh, there was another game mode, though. Hang on. Let me go to the main menu. So the first game mode is Rise to Prosperity. Re uh, victory condition is just reaching the large town settlement level. After that, you can choose to continue if you want to. Um, restoring the peace is what I'm currently playing. Victory condition is conquer every region. You can build and expand at your own pace, but when you're ready, you challenge the Baron for the Northern Territories. Um, on the edge, grow your city and raise forces as quickly as you can. The lands are pestered by raiders and undefended settlements quickly perish. Survive all the attacks and reach the large town settlement level. So you don't even have to control the whole map. You just have to survive. So I imagine that that one is much tougher. Interesting. Uh, Alright, let's load back into where we were. We do a little bit more. Yeah, this is very much, uh, at the moment, like what I'm playing right now, just feels like lots of preparation and colony sim. And then occasionally a big battle where if you lose, you lose the game. <laughs> so you need to prepare for that battle. The battle itself isn't anything too complex. Of course, you know, I possibly could have done better with formations or something. I don't know. Um, Let's see. That's three out of the three. What else can we do here? Nope, didn't mean to do that. Weaver workshop, dyer shop. Trade. Let's do farmhouse. Here and field. Maybe one. This will be fallow, wheat, barley. And this will be wheat, barley, fallow. And this will be barley, fallow, wheat. Okay. Uh, we're also going to need more buildings down here. Dark underscore Matt gifted a tier 1 sub to Obsidian underscore. This is their first gift sub in the channel. Thank you, Dark Matt. Very kind of you. Appreciate that. Welcome. Welcome, Obsidian. Let's do that. Alright, going down here. Look at all those sheep, chat. Remember, I bought four sheep. Look at all those sheep. Easy money. I got all that wool. Uh, and then we got this new settlement that we really haven't touched yet. You know, I guess I don't have to build here, do I? I just have to conquer the map. I don't have to build there. Like, if I'm just going for the win condition. Oh, here we go. Wayward Sons. Sign the contract. Mm. I played a demo of this some time ago when the combat wasn't in yet. Mm. I can see outing generations that have something first person. I could, uh, well, actually, I've got four points. Wait, I had like two point something K influence. Oh, no, I remember. I reloaded. So it takes like 2,000 influence to push into one of these areas. There's th three more left. Oh, shoot. No, I'm not trying to. There we go. Uh, yeah, there's three left. 
So I could get two, but then I have to build influence before I could get that last one. Uh... Upgrade those. What would be the benefit uh, to play Ranger over Guardian Guild Wars 2? Uh, I mean, the list of... I don't... There's not a clear list of pros and cons. There, There's a, a lot of um, differences between the two. Let's see. Da -da, da -da. All right, so we got these now. Can I make any more militia? Mm, doesn't look like it's gonna let me. Okay. All right, let's save game. And let's do the northwest corner. Claim with influence. And then we're going to need all the boys, I think. Rallying everybody. There they are. New message. <laughs> End conversation. Uh, where's the battle? It's supposed to be right there. It's it, 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 we have the walking icon on all these guys, but these archers are just like like they are just sp full sprint. Oh, their icons just changed to a torch? I think they're going to, like, attack my city now. Wait, what? Battle lost? I was on my way there. <laughs> it's like, you have 90 days to face us. You lose, neener, neener. And then they just run away. <laughs> Uh, hey, Mike, how are you able to play this right now? Are there early access codes readily available? Hello, Pancho. Uh, I got a early access code from the developer, along with a lot of other streamers. So I got to try it out. All right. I guess what we need to do is prepare our army and send it over there and then start the fight. It's weird, like, this guy, look, he's draining his stamina like crazy, but I, it has the walk icon, that's probably a bug. Yeah, I think if they go there and just wait, they'll get some stamina back. They should make a Patreon. I would bribe the developer to play now. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh... Oh, interesting. As the stamina increases, they've got an effectiveness thing, and that thing's going up, too. 69, nice. Okay. Claim. I'm in your base taking your lands. Gauntlet has been thrown. Alright. 
Once again, we've got two melee groups and four archer groups. The battle begins. I see you up there flanking. I know what you're doing. Okay, what is happening? There they are, these friggin- they went all the way around behind us. Alright, got him. Wait, are these guys not even fighting? Oh my god. Victory! Yeah, that could have gone better. Peace declared. Peace declared. Alright, so that area is mine now. So, for the militia I lost, I gotta remake the equipment. And then I guess they'll just repopulate automatically as long as new families come back in. Like, hey, can you guys make some new <laughs> make some new warriors, please? <laughs> Kinda reminds me of Timberborn. Alright, disband all that. And then let's see, if we go back here. Do I need oh no, not rally, not rally. Do I need to re Yeah, so I have to rebuy the people that were lost. And then uh, upgrade their armor again. Is there a way to play this now or is it content creator privilege? I'm only able to play it now because they gave me a key. What is that minus two? King's favor. How am I negative two king's favor? <laughs> I'm conquering the land. Isn't this what you wanted? The lab is running out of fuel. What? What are you talking about? It has a hundred... What? It has 145 firewood. What do you mean it's almost out of fuel? I'm so confused. Where's the... Uh... Hey. What's up? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you need attention? Is that why you're here? Where are you going? Okay. That's it. He just wanted exactly three pets. No more, no less. Uh, Woodcutter. Hold on. Which building is it? Makes firewood. It's the Woodcutter's Lodge. Alright. Add more families to that, I guess. Hmm. See, so we've got two areas that I haven't really bothered to build on yet. Uh, and it would say there'd be two more big battles. Thing is, I got I got 2.6 thousand influence. I could use that to pick one more fight, and then I won't have enough for the last one. How do you build influence again? 
Raising settlement levels, enacting policies. Okay, so I would have to level up some towns to be able to attack the last region. Unless more bandit camps spawn, because you can kill those for some. Uh, yeah. So we didn't have fit. What the heck? Do 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 do. <laughs> Just all walk through the wall. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's a, it's, there is no spoon. It's fine. It's fine. I'm so confused right now. It says they have one month of firewood, but 146 firewood. Well, I mean, we have a lot of houses. Is that actually, is 146 actually one month? Maybe. make another one of these. It's kind of extra bad because in winter they use the stuff twice as quickly. So much for the guard tower. <laughs> yeah, didn't do much. There you go. Double the... I thought that was a bunch of dead sheep for a second. I was like, oh my god. No, it's fine. Let's see, that was an empty region. This is Northland. How close are you winning in Evil Genius 2? I don't know. Uh, I would say my momentum in the game has sped up quite a bit, though. Because I have got, like, a really good foothold. And, uh... It seems the secret in that game is just accept the fact that your people are constantly getting thrown into a grinder and just have a million training stations to make more people. <laughs> that seems to be the secret to it. So I've got this massive training room now, and it's uh, I'm just like, you know, throw an army, make a new one, throw an army. So I am, I am a very good boss in that game. All right, well, chat, it is midnight. Um, this is pretty cool. At this point, for this specific game mode, I think we got it on lockdown, right? It's just, like, I, I found a formula for how to build the city and then just do that for each area. When you get, uh, like, five armies, challenge another area and then just take them out, which means not counting the bandits. There's only, like, four big fights on the map. And then uh, eventually you get the whole thing. Uh, very enjoyable, but at this point I kind of feel like I've seen what the uh, the game mode that we're playing on right now has for you. Um, kind of curious to try. Oh, there's also challenging too. So you could play restoring. So you could play any of these on a higher difficulty, but then also this scenario is a harder difficulty. Raider frequency every two years. So, like, you can play the hard scenario on its hard difficulty. End call conquest. So, yeah. I don't know. Might try this again on, uh, what is this? Uh, like, I'll definitely be playing this more as they release more content for the game. As far as the current update, I might try it again on On the Edge next time. Uh, although I haven't officially hit the win condition of the map I'm on, it's basically guaranteed at this point. Uh, but for now, going to save it and stop here. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Had a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun, and we're going to be keeping an eye on this one. All right. With that chat, it is midnight, so we are going to stop there and pick up from here next time couple of plugs on the way out. If any of you happen to be new to my channel, my name is Monkluck. I stream every single evening and every weekday morning. I'll be back tomorrow morning continuing our playthrough of Evil Genius 2. And tomorrow night, there is a brand new uh, early access coming out called No Rest for the Wicked that I have been really looking forward to. It is made by the same people who made um, Ori in the Blind Forest. And we are hopefully going to be trying this out tomorrow if they have a smooth launch. So yeah, look forward to that. 
Uh, hit the follow button if you're watching here on Twitch. Like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. It really does help us out. These are links to my YouTube channels if you want to see them. There are two of those. And special thank you to the dear patrons. They keep this channel alive with their support. And there's a link to that in the chat if you'd like to be one of those wonderful folks. You guys have a great night. Sleep well. I'll see you tomorrow. Say it backwards. Mmm, edge the need only Yule, but C to take, please. Weak every giveaways, beakers, the touch don't speakers, the up crank way the on is entertainment. Stay the enjoy. You hope we lab the two viewer, dear you welcomes third the snuffles, Van Chauncey, Sir and fourth the Esquire, Reginald Bartholomew Douglas Muckluck. <laughs> the words pour from his mouth, nearly tripping over themselves in their haste. My name is Zunakai. I used to be a slave here, but then I worked hard and they made me an overseer. I kept a good eye on the slaves, and if anyone slacked off, I whipped them hard. <laughs> don't, don't clip it. <laughs> oh, I'm crying. Oh, oh, hi. Uh. You stay there. I'm going that way. Deal. You broke the deal. Oh, Chauncey, uh, Chauncey can swim. I didn't know that. He, what? How does he look so dapper while swimming? I've never seen a cat Look that dapper while swimming. Like, look, his chest is out. He's like, hmm, yeah. Uh, have you attempted oxygen not included? Mm hmm. I, I played it on stream, and one very memorable memory is anyone who was at the stream, I was letting them name one of my replicants after them. And I said, Joe Niels, which one do you want to be you? And one of them had like explosive bowel syndrome or something. And he donated $50 and he was drunk and he made the British guy said, I want a character make me the poop one. I don't know if anyone on Twitch has ever spent $50 to say make me the poop one. But that day Joe did and I, I it burned into my mind. The flashlight that we picked up earlier is in hand now. Oh, that's us. Oh, yo, I was getting... <laughs> the cardboard, this is not going to go well. Run an update. <laughs> I'm running... I'm running software updates. That it is. This is true horror, chat, because I was a tech support. I can't get away from it. It just left bread on the table. That bread's going to dry out. The bread is going to dry out. There's so much bread. You don't, like, the, oh, there's two of, the baby's not eating bread, there's two of us. There's like three loaves of bread there and another four right here. What are you doing? Put some saran wrap on it, it's gonna dry out. New page, oh my God, a freaking patron sound. Oh, yeah, <laughs> just like, mm, a new arrival. And then Ed Wolf was sure to follow. Oh, hello, welcome, page. Sit down, you oh season. Good to see you. I use numpad for my mounts. I use numpad for this and 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 other things. I'm trying to sleep here. Am I too loud? Okay. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go! It is Wednesday, my dudes.